hey, I'm here. <clears throat> I haven't played Trails in the Sky in way too long. I'm having Trails in the Sky with Trolls. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's, yes, that's my intro. Uh, well, what was I supposed to do even? I don't even remember. Wanted a monster slain? Oh, right, I was doing... Right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, the stolen sign. Lately, the highways have been even more dangerous. Don't push yourself too hard, be sure to get some rest before you head out. Uh, I'm all rested, actually. Thankfully. I can go here, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys! If you're coming here through the tunnel, you must either be insanely brave or on a hell of an urgent job. Uh, we're doing side quests. Does that count? Oh, I remember the music. <laughs> I forgot. I had forgotten about the music, actually. Oh, there's still quite a lot of XP actually. Hmm. Oh right, I was grinding here, wasn't I? Uh can I go here? Yeah I can. But I've gotten every chest here, probably. I think I've already gotten chests. Yeah I have. Still level forty-eight. Hmm. Oh no! Really? Uh. How did I not get them from behind? It really looked like I got them from behind, but I guess I didn't. Somehow. Yeah, they turned around. They turned around just before. Um, tia, tira, tira, tira. Yes. Oh. 
This music is so catchy. I love this music so much. Why is it so good? Oh my god. Yes! Here we go. Oh, I bought. How long until get Chloe? Uh, yeah, Chloe is close enough to leveling up, actually. Might as well. Which way are you facing? Please walk. Walk. Okay, that way. Pretty close. Chloe is very close. Oh, he still is the one that has the least amount of max e yeah, P EP. Mm. Just a normal attack. Oh wow. That's a lot of damage. Okay, just one more battle. And Chloe will be level 49. Level 49. <laughs> 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 Oh, it moves. Move just okay. I forgot to position the, the aerial. Nicely done. That's alright.
I knew it wouldn't be enough. Okay. And we're back. Hi. Uh, what's your name again? Rudy. Man, between the earthquakes and that guy in black? This was unlucky, you know? I hope nothing bad is gonna happen. Uh, yeah, you... Famous last words. Kinda. Okay, so let's go to other floors. I don't think we got to other floors before. Mm -hmm. Hi, are you... Oh, what was your name again? Clarence? Constance, Constance. Okay, so uh, Constance, have you been cleaning your hands? Please tell me you've been washing your hands, please. Oh, hey, there's a familiar face. A uh, face? <laughs> face? You're that person who found me a book a while back. Free books, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, that did happen. The memory seems really painful somehow, though. Oh, don't worry, I don't intend to put, put out any new requests anytime soon. There was a newbie posted here recently, so I'm leaving little tasks to her. Oh, huh, nice. Well, for now. If, if something comes up that's too much for her, I'll probably ask the guild. I hope you'll help me out when the time comes. Sure thing. Thank you. Ah, cute. Are you... Have you been washing your hands, though? Oh, there aren't any books to read this time. Ah. Okay, so you're the newbie. Murio? Oh, I, I think I remember you. Oh, just look at all this. That earthquake did a real number on this place. Well, it's probably more like 50% earthquake, 50% lazy boss. <laughs> right now I'm an office newbie. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. Arranging books is so boring. Sounds like a dream job, to be honest. Oh, still you've come. Hi, Chief Murdoch. Long time no see. Not since the birthday celebrations, right? Yes, indeed. A lot has happened, but I'm glad to see you are well. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Incidentally, this is... Oh, yeah, Scara. Uh, no, sorry, this is my superior in the branch. Rowan Branch Guild Bracer, Scara Zard Harvey. It may not be for long, but I look forward to working here. A pleasure to meet you. For the moment, it seems like you'll be staying here to back up the Zeiss branch. It's very reassuring having you all here. I hope for the best. Yes, please leave it to us. Yeah, we'll do our best. That reminds me, I hear you'll be cooperating with the guild, sir. Yes, Kilika rang me up after that earthquake. I'll be gathering information on whether or not there was anything out of the ordinary before or after the earthquake. I've just started though, so I don't have much for you yet. It's not that easy to get answers, huh? Well, our next step is to check out the wolf fort, so... Good luck with the investigation within the city, sir. Yes, if I find anything out, I'll contact the guild. You all take care, Estelle. Yeah, later. I'll try collecting information from the city, yeah. Okay. What's up, Blacky? Oh. No one's watching, but I'll put it. Uh, I'll say here in the chat, so just in case someone stops by and wants to know where I am. 
cat requires attention. Uh, attend to win. <laughs> I'll be right back. Post. O que é que foi sua fofura? A fofura está também. <risos> Ai, eu tenho o microfone ligado. Esqueci-me do mute. Next switch. Ok, so uh, what was I doing? Alright, oh, checking the force. I think there's a, a, que a side quest. <laughs> Oh, here you go. We're scheduled to load the new engine onto the Arcel, Arcel? very soon. Right now I'm working with the maintenance chief to put together a plan for the job. I'm really relieved there was no damage fro from the earthquake. It would be pretty sad if our preparations for the work got delayed. 
Ah, Gustav! Well, well, this is a surprise. Been a long time. <laughs> yeah, it has. You're looking well, Gustav. You're on work again? Yeah, we're filling in a bit for the Zeiss branch. So we'll be in town for a bit. Well, that's good to hear. If anything comes up, you'll be the first one to call. This music fills me with so much hope and determination. Yeah, leave it to us. By the way, did you go see the professor yet? Oh, we just went, yeah. We got quite a reception from Tita. <laughs> I bet you did. She really does admire you, you know? Tita's excited face. <laughs> I can picture it. After all, she does adore you. She's so cute. I love Tita. I checked our, I checked our measuring equipment when the last earthquake happened, but it's weird. It doesn't share any similarities with our previous data on earthquakes. It may have been an earthquake caused by some special source. The epicenter of that last earthquake is still unknown. It may have been an earthquake... Okay, yeah, I just read that and I forgot. I forgot that first line of dialogue. Okay, so this is the quest. Um, got a sec? We're from the guild. Oh, you came! Huh? What is it? No, you... Aren't you the person who delivered that prototype from Wuhan a little... a while back? Yep. Did I? Yeah, for the Stragas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You came to the weapon shop with a black-haired boy. Black-haired boy... That's gotta be Joshua. Thinking about it, I guess that might have happened. Well, if you're curious, have a look in your notebook. More importantly, I think right now we should talk work. Ah, right. So then, did you come because you saw the board? Of course. Looks like you're recruiting testers for an Orwell gun. Yeah, actually, but... Actually, I was just having problems since I wasn't getting any respondents. I know it's kind of sudden, but can I give you the explanation of the job now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Well then, let me explain. As you know, my request is a test of an Orbital gun. I want you to check the reliability of this gun through live battle. Check the reliability? To put it very simply, I want you to test its endurance. All machines have failings you never know unless you use them. The causes of many problems are usually things no one even imagined during the development period. I want to pinpoint any hidden weaknesses, any, and strengthen the reliability of my gun as a weapon. That's the goal of this test. I believe I understand the intent. To use a bit more specialized term, you want a combat demonstration. There's a... Why is Russell there? Yeah, it's Russell there. Huh. On the top left. Yes, exactly. Incidentally, are you the shooter who will be doing the test? Huh. It is a singular, singular pleasure to meet you. I'm the roaming poet and musician, the indomitable hunter of love, the one and only Olivier Lenheim. A hunter of... Just ignore that. <laughs> Just a big smile face. Just ignore that. Sure, he might be a total weirdo, but he's still... Sure, he might be a total weirdo, but his skill with a gun is legit. Oh, what's that? Did I detect a slight imbalance of emphasis on the former part of your speech rather than the latter? <laughs> well now, what does it matter? Everyone acknowledges your ability. I see. Well, in that case, I guess I'll trust you. <laughs> Consider yourself without fear, my good man. Oh, Oscar! Oscar! Anika! Oh, Oscar! No, Oscar! Anda! Oh. 
Boas. <coughs> ok, so, uh, let's see, in the community tab, O oh, Sofia, Donk7, Sukoxi, which one of you is a bot and which one isn't? <laughs> I'm, they're, they're probably all bots, to be honest. Will this really be okay? Uh, anyway, for now, here's the gun. O-Type Orbo Gun Alpha. That's, a, that's the gun I'd like you to test. As thanks for coming, I'll let you have the gratis. Gratis? What's that? Well, that is a most generous gift. Still, this gun... It's got a somewhat unique structure. Of course it does. I'd be more upset if you were familiar with it. After all, the drive portion of this is a new model I developed. How about it? Think you can handle it? Huh, <laughs> but of course. I'm sure that this gun will play a most bu beauteous, beauteous harmony. <laughs> Great to hear. If you're done stroking that gun, Olivia, we'd like to know more about the job. We still haven't heard exactly what we should be doing. Oh, <laughs> true enough. Well, please go on. It's more or less as you said. Basically, I want you to wield this gun in live combat and come back with the results. I'd like you to test it over on the trap plane road. That way, even if trouble comes up, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Well, actually we were just about to go there, so nice. Understood, the trap plane road. At the minimum, I'd like you to, te to fight 10 battles. Of course, I want you to fight them to the end. Fleeing over and over won't be much of a combat test. <laughs> the developers... No. Let me check then. I wasn't ever planning on leaving, but... It's glad I'm glad that the devs actually thought of about that, at least. Go out onto the trap plane roll equipped with this gun, then fight about 10 battles to victory there. Then, once that's complete, return here and report. Is that about it? Yeah, I think that should do it. If you don't have any more questions, I'd like you, I'd like you to get to it. Everything, everything clear? Yep, I think we got it. Got it. We'll be back soon. I'm pretty sure, like, it's at least 10 battles, but I'm pretty sure we get a bonus if it's like 20 or something. I don't know. Olivier, I'm trusting you. <laughs> Worry not, I never disappoint. Kinda. Yep, I knew I, I saw the these little things here moving and I thought it would be tea. That's so cute! Oh hey guys! I'm sure the device we're preparing now will be useful. We'll work on it as fast as we can, so wait just a little just a bit longer. For you I'll wait until the end of the world. How goes the investigation? I'll still take it'll still take me a bit of time to get ready. Once I'm prepared I'll contact the guild. Anything to investigate? No? No. I should equip it, by the way. Wow, it's... Way weaker. Yeah, it's way weaker. Uh, oh well. Hi, Dr. Miriam, right. Oh, you all. Oh, Dr. Miriam. Thank you very much again for your help back then. No, I didn't do anything. If you want to thank anyone, you should thank the priest who supplied the medicine. Yeah, for uh, Agate. So, is Agate well? Yeah, no problem. Seems like he's totally back to normal. I see. Good to hear that. That's some vitality. I guess that's... Uh, that's some vitality. I guess that's the bracer for you. Your body is your capital. Well, that's Agate anyway. If nothing else, he's a walking damage sponge. <laughs> if anything comes up, stop by any time. Of course, I never want to see an injury like that again. Yeah, we'll stay on our toes. Any job could have danger in it, after all. Yes, absolutely, Stel. To perpetually sharpen your awareness, to prepare for unseen threats. Cassius often spoke of that as a, as a mindset of a bracer. Yes, don't forget those words. Continue to be careful as you attend to your work. Yeah, you got it. 
Well, see you later, Dr. Miriam. <gasps> Antoine! Meow? Oh, what, the, what did Meow mean? Oh. Uh, the, the, the book. The book is gone now. I can't read the book. I, I don't remember. Meow? Bum, bum, bum. There was a book about understanding cat speech. <laughs> I guess I'll be continuing research with the greenhouse. Though to be honest, I'll be leaving most of it to Terry. I wonder if there isn't some more interesting direction I could take using the greenhouse. No tomatoes? Ah. Hey, it's been a while, remember me? I'm Terry, I was doing research on sneakers. Please say you remember me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Don't worry, I remember you. It was a job for Stragas. No way I'd forget a dream job like that. So, still researching researching shoes, Terry? Not anymore. Thanks to your help getting that data before, I was able to achieve my research goals. After handing the findings over to the Strager Corporation, the job was finished. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh yeah, I gave them your message like I said I would. I told them a Bracer fan said she couldn't wait to see the next new product. R really? Yeah, of course. The Strager developers were really touched. They were making jokes about making a Bracer model next. <gasps> oh, it was a... Just a joke? <laughs> Who knows, I thought it was a joke anyway. One way or another, I got, I got more research funding. So right now I'm looking for a new research team. I might ask the guild for help again. I hope I, I can count on you like before if anything comes up. Yeah, don't hesitate to contact us. Also, I'm sure you know, but... Be sure to prioritize requests from the Strega Corporation, okay? And if you need a bracer, I'm your woman! <laughs> <laughs> uh, understood. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's always great. It's still my favorite character by far. She's awesome. Oh, hey. Orbu calculator. Yeah, this thing, the capo. Thirty nine failed test flights before success was achieved. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess I guess that makes sense, but why? Wow. <laughs> That's a, a lot. Congratulations, though. The passenger ship Eterna sinks in covered waters. Grand Prince Judas dies. This looks important. Oh, I forgot there's an Epstein Foundation. <laughs> the central factory is taken by the Erebonian army. Oh, wow. It's you! Man, it's been a while! <laughs> yeah, it has! How's Kapol doing? <clears throat> oh, thanks for asking, it's doing great. There's no sign of any real damage from the earthquake at the moment. And remember, turn it off and on again. <laughs> if needed, you can use it anytime to look up things. 
After all, we owe, a, I, we owe you a lot when it comes to the capital. I'd say you've more than earned the right. Thanks. Well, if needed, I will be sure to make use of it. Sure thing, anytime. Hmm. Okay, make use of it. Okay. This room's up on the fifth floor, so we got shaken up quite a bit from that earthquake. Oh, I, ma I imagine. Hopefully the capital doesn't throw another feat over this. Nothing here? Okay. Okay, so um what about the um, the sign? Huh. Oh I can inspect it. Ah so this is where the problem is. Amazing, looks like he, he just lifted the grass portion. Really, what a dexterous person. Got the crest there, it just doesn't feel right. We really need to get our sign back. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, so now that I... Actually, now that I investigated that, maybe it will appear. Uh, where was... Uh, Russell's house. There. It could be behind here, right? No. <laughs> I'm still coping that it should be it should be behind here, but no, it's not. Maybe I can go ask the capo. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Let's tr let's try the capo. Maybe it will give us the answers. That would be funny. Like just the answer just magically appears before after uh, inspecting it. I, I say that jokingly, but I was actually expecting it to... <laughs> I, I was sort of expecting it to appear. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was really so, sort of expecting it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, hmm. Where do I even look, really? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious on where exactly do I even start. He points to the first school, in the city, and the back of the 40-year-old. Wait. If not Russell's house. It's, but it's probably a metaphor. It's probably some kind of metaphor. Wait, no, that's, that's not it. It's probably some kind of metaphor, but... It, I don't know. That's not it. Here? No. of the 40 year old maybe in the back of a statue i don't think zeiss doesn't have a statue does it i don't think it does it has to be in the city right it's in the city hmm 
<clears throat> Let's try the landing port, maybe. Where's that goddamn emblem? Gosh darn doodly. Where's that gosh darn doodly sign? Where is it? I I don't I hate I don't even know where to start looking. Oh crap. Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey guys! Help me please! Help! I need help. But no help came. There is no help. <laughs> Maybe in the chapel. Okay, um... Mm. Well, I hope no one minds that I look up a guide, because I have no idea. Well, let's look at a guide, at the guide. I don't intend on... I don't intend on, on looking at the entire guide. I just want some kind of clue as to where to go. The back of the giant clock? Oh, there's... There is a statue! I... I didn't realize there's a statue. First orally powered clock, made in year 1162 of the Septian calendar, by Zeissian manufacturers. Hmm. Sit in the back? Here. Ah! Oh, holy crap! Did you find something? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, a card. There is no doubt about it. That's his card. So, what's written on it? One second. <laughs> Beauteous princess and her companions. That which you seek is yet far off. Your second key is in the central factory. Search within the wisest one. Oh, the capo. And that's it for our next hint. I see, our next stop is the central factory. Yeah, we know the place, but who do you think this wisest one is? It's not Professor Russell, right? Hmm. Whoever it is, we know where our next clue can be found at least. Let's go and see what we can find. Let's be off. Okay, so I, I was kind of in, right, in the right track before. Yeah, I was kind of in the right track before. But it's definitely the couple now. I really was in the right track for her. I just got there too soon. Now it should appear? The... In the options, maybe? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I packed out. <laughs> I packed out. Yeah. Related topics? No. Universal tech? Oh! Bracer Guild sign. The metal sign removed from the Zyske branch of the incompetent Bracer Guild by the genius and dashing Phantom Thief Blue Blanc. 
It's that guy. Oh, right, that guy. While its financial value is insignificant, the shock to guild members is likely considerable. And reading this now must fill you with shame. I have probably said enough. I need to provide the next key. The third key is in the city. Gaze up at the three hatted brothers. Three hatted brothers. This entry will self do it. You are recommended to commit this entry to a memo immediately. Just gone. Hey, this? Why the heck is something like this written in the capital? How such a thing was accomplished, I do not know, but the data appears to have been overwritten. <laughs> Even for my enemy, I must say, bravo! My my, he really is a bottomless bag of tricks. Putting that aside, you wrote that down, right? Yeah, of course. Our next stop somewhere in the town. I believe we're search searching for three hatted brothers. Must be a metaphor of some kind. Mm -hmm. That's plenty enough to go on, thankfully. Let's head into town. Three hatted brothers? Three hatted brothers. Okay, so back in the city, right? Maybe chimneys, right? Maybe? A chimney? Oh. I think I'm on the right track. That's two, though. That's two chimneys. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I got it. Uh, maybe inside, right? I'm glad I actually got that pretty quickly. Um, but wait. Okay, I'm gonna feel like an idiot if it's not. <laughs> Maybe I need to talk to Ruther for it? Was that? No, Ben, Ben. Hey, good work. Okay, now. Hmm. Oh. Here we go. Here are three chimneys at different heights. Hey, don't you think this could be the three hatted brothers? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm a genius. All three are at different heights. I see. Perhaps this is what was meant by brothers. This seems to be the only building with three chimneys at different heights. I say it's possible. Why don't we have a look? There was a card stuck to the chimney pipe. Alright, found it! The door has already been opened. Let the souls of heroes descend into the quiet earth. Raise your voice high and chant to the goddess C26DE. Phew, I think this next step is the last. Please let it be the last one. Still, Chant to the goddess in the quiet earth, of all things. The quiet earth is probably exactly what it sounds like. Somewhat underground. Okay, so... Basement. The problem is goddess and the incomprehensible part after that. Well, for now, let's go underground. Underground. Goddess. Fey! It's Fey! It's Fey! There's only one place I think of when you see underground, say underground in Zeiss. Yeah, let's get going. It's Faye, it's Faye. It has to be. She's the only uh, um, woman in the in the underground, I think. Unless there's another one or another one appeared. It has to be. Um, 
Yes! Hey, Faye, got a sec? Oh, you guys! Need to talk about a job or something? <clears throat> yeah, basically. There's something I need to... I wanna ask. Oh, really? Go ahead. Could you look at this? Still shows Faye the memo left by blah blah. <laughs> blah blah. Hmm. The quiet earth chant the goddess in a text string. What about it? We think it's indicating this spot, but there are parts we don't understand. We thought we'd ask you to see if you had an idea. So you think this message is about the basement factory? If that's the case, then... Did you think of something? Could this goddess be me? Uh, uh... We're not too worried about that part. It's the bit below that, the number thingy. Ah, uh, right. Right, this text string. <laughs> C26DE. From the looks of it, I'd say it's a, pro a product ID code. A product code? Yeah, all the things in the warehouse are organized by those codes. So as long as you know the code, we should be able to call it up by using the conveyor. So could you call out this number? Sure, wanna give it a try? Please, if you would. No problem, give me one second. Honestly, the only thing why I even thought of Faye was because it said uh, Goddess, so, you know, Goddess, female, woman, Faye. <laughs> and underground. Faye is the only woman underground here. And I think uh, the other one, uh, Rudy, yeah, Rudy is the only other one, only other person underground, so, yeah. There's only one uh, man, one, one woman there, so, yeah, it could only be Faye. Unless there was another one that spawned in. I'd like you to send item C26DE over here. Yeah, uh, C26DE. Thanks, appreciate it. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, you're in luck. They said they found something under that under that number. They're sending it out. It really was here? Seems like the person in charge over there was pretty shocked too. Now then, let's see what we get. Uh, it's probably a C4 bomb. <laughs> nah, it's not, but let's see. Maybe a piece of equipment? That would be cool. Ah, oh, looks like it's coming. Oh, oh right. Huh? The heck is... Right, the emblem. <laughs> the bracer emblem. I completely forgot about the bracer emblem. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Seems kind of familiar. Oh, thank goodness, finally found it. Oh, isn't that the bracer guild? Yup. Thanks for the help. It was nothing, really, but... Why the heck was the guild sign in our warehouse? Uh... <laughs> Where to even start? <laughs> I sit down if I were you, it's a long story. <laughs> you did well to reclaim it. I had every confidence in you. Glad we were able to live up to your expectations. But man, this time we really got jerked around by Phantom Thief B. Yes, it feels like once again we got a good picture of just how strong he is. Perhaps that was his intention all along. He's trying to intimidate us by showing off his power, in other words? 
don't know if he thought it through that far, but still. One way or the other, it's obvious he's no ordinary foe. Be sure to tread with caution. Wise words from a wise woman. Yeah. This task is officially complete. With that, I'd like for you to return to your main mission. Understood. If you'll excuse me. Alright. Uh, let's, uh, let's just... Why do I need to report this, by the way? <laughs> oh yeah, called it a no monster as well. Neat. It seems you successfully... Yeah. Liston Fortress, right? Carl? Mm-hmm. And then the Trad Plains monster, right. <laughs> Liston Fortress, where was that again? Over there, okay. <laughs> Let's go to... No, no, let's go to Trat first. How strong are you? Oh, wait a bit. Attacks with a deadly strike. Swings poison scythes. And focuses its attacks on its chosen prey. I see. Before I continue, I should I should actually just go rest. How much money do I have by the way? Okay. It's fine. I should go rest at the hotel. Two hundred, okay. Okay, let's go again. Hi. One hit. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm very, very, very fine with that. Who was that? Uses Kung Fu to beat up others in pursuit of happiness? <laughs> Sheep that wants to be happy. Okay. Oh, 
You don't have any fire stuff. Yeah, you don't. That's fine. Oh! Normal attacks do way more. Do way more damage to it. Huh. Well, good to know. Haha, <laughs> I get the critical, I get the critical. <laughs> oh. I wasn't expecting that. Monster living on the planes. It spits poison, I spray and make call for backup. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Oh! They're weak! They're really weak! The Wolfport is that way, but... I have to go to Elmo Village. I have to. Come on. Nicely done. Now you get to sleep. Five ever. Why do you pursue me? What drives you to pursue me? Of course. So sorry. You know what? Now nah, whatever. Piece of cake. I was stupid there. I was very stupid. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Wow, thank you for helping me Seems defeat you e more easily. Thank you so much. Kinda weird that I'm not finding any chests here. I was expecting to find some. Oh wow, got got two turns. How is it out of range? Take that. 
enjoy the show. What's that enemy? What is that enemy? Whatever. We're we're in deep now. Leader of the pack, smart enough to use Earth's attacks and can call for backup. Its attack has a weakening effect on its enemies. Of course, okay. Okay, that's fine. That that's actually fine. Oh no, wait, no, that was that's not fine. That forget what I just said. Did you have to miss? Did, did you have to miss? What? Run. This, this is not going well at all. This is not going well at all. Do that again. Come on. There we go. go. Now that's more like it. Oh. Just one? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, Klein and Sinker. I only have one raw uh, shrimp left. Yay. What did I get? A crab. Monster carapace. Alright. What about with the earthworm? Another crab. Fish egg. Okay. What about the pol poly... Kate, Paul Chate, Paul, I don't know. They're all hitting, nice. Another crab. <laughs> this place only has crabs, okay. Maybe I need another rod. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably. There's a chest. Insulating tape. I knew you'd come back to me someday. Who cooked this chest, Junior? Our chest, Junior! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. The chest dialogue is so good. Mm 
Just one again? Okay. I'm pretty sure I've already done more, way more than 10 fights, right? Is it still... Acquire the requisite 10 battles, let's go report to Carl. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know why I didn't say anything though. It's a large area. Yeah, hmm. I forgot this area is so large. There has to be chests hidden around. Come on. Gimme. Give Gimme give the loot. Gimme. Give Gimme, give gimme, give gimme a chest after me. Wait, no. Wait, no, that, that sounded pretty bad. Give me, give me, give me a treasure box. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> now that just it just sounds too. Oh, here we go. River snail. I once heard on the playground that if you check a certain chest enough, it will give you all the items and as much mirror as you can hold. Cute. Very cute. Wait, I have to check. If, if it's actually saving, I'm I'm taking screenshots <laughs> of the chest dialogue. <laughs> okay, yeah, here, yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. I have nothing to fear. <gasps> oh. Only... Only that much? Okay. He didn't run away. He didn't... A VXP too. Awesome. Whoa, that's a lot of sepith. Oh, the EP got charged up as well. Huh. I thought it only recharged HP, not EP as well. Am I, am I misremembering? Hmm. I might be misremembering then. gone through there yeah okay Tiara bomb, nice. 
Unable to see the bottom of this ostensibly empty chest, you drop a pebble into it. You don't hear it hit the bottom. Probably best to leave. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot of sheep. Creepy sheep. I don't have don't have any fire on him. Can't forget physical attacks work wonders. Hey, well, oh hi! How are you doing? Are you doing well? You're the first person to arrive at this stream, by the way. I'm bleh. Oh, really? That sucks. No, 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 no. Oh. I hope you feel better soon. So me, I'm actually doing okay. For now, anyway. No, no. Oh, they're so close to death. I didn't even realize that they're so close to death. Why do I have so little reviving items and stuff? I should have more. Eh. That should be fine for now. No, 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 no. Run, just run. <laughs> okay. I'm out of the ship. Of the ship realm. Uh, okay, let's go to Elmo Village then. Uh, what is that? Whoa, that's massive. <gasps> Ooh. Get that. Get that immediately. Get it. Right now. Yeah! It missed. Yeah! Come on, don't run away. Please don't run away. Right. <sighs> it ran away. <laughs> well, uh. Oh well. Okay, let's... Go against this... Massive thing. Wait, so it's not the it's not the boss enemy? I thought I thought it would be the boss enemy. It's not. Okay. Speeds poison at its prey. It has abundant stamina. Okay. Oh. 
just ran away? What? Just like that? So... I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load it back. See if I can... I can beat it. Okay. Let's see. Preemptive attack? No. That did almost nothing. Okay. What about this? Did it give me anything good? It didn't give me anything good. Really? That I thought it was some kind of special enemy. Ugh. Oh, well, let's go to Elmo Village at least. Bum, bum. And, and let's rest as well. Mm -hmm. bum, bum. Mao! Ah, oh, welcome! Long time no see, Miss Mao! Hey! Ah, Estelle, it has been a while. You seem a lot more grown up since the last time we met. You've changed your clothes too. <laughs> really? Madam, thank, thank you for your care the other day. Oh, I thought I knew you. If it isn't Olivier, what brings you back there? <laughs> I have my reasons. Currently, I'm accompanying Estelle as a supporter. Do you two know each other? Yes, dear, he stayed here not that long ago. He's the first customer we've ever had that played the loot in the baths. <laughs> of course. Uh, I guess you do the same thing everywhere. <laughs> Tis the sacred duty of all those dedicated to the arts. Olivia is so fun. My first impression of him was horrible. Like, I didn't like Olivia at all. But now I like him a lot. He's very fun. Time and location mean nothing to one who serves the goddess of beauty. Yeah, but playing your loot in the buff? And now that image is in my head, ew. <laughs> well, one way or another, glad you liked our baths. How about staying for a while? I think we'd all love to, but unfortunately we're in the middle of work. No! We'll have to have our soak a little later on down the line. Later on down the line. No! What? On the job again? Don't you bracers ever take a day off? Huh. Well, at least take a quick dip before you go. You're all welcome to go in anytime. Ah, that sounds really nice. If we go... If, if we get some time, we'll definitely take you up on that. We will go right now, actually. Wait, isn't that the boys one? Whatever. Okay, so we're all... Oh, it's free too, nice. But we didn't get our our EP back. That's a shame. That's really a shame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can fish here. What fish could possibly live here? Uh, well, no, there could be fish that could be placed here. Anyway, hook, line, and sinker. Let's see. Progress rod is the only one I have. Shrimp wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, let's try Earthworm. Yay! And what do I get from here? A carp. Oh, scope pendant. Oh, that's against death blows, right? Hmm. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so earth form. Well, let's try earth form again. <laughs> Another carp and reviving bomb. Uh, I I'm getting really good items from here. <laughs> well, let's, let's do that again. An eel? Only 19, wow. Leathery tail. Leathery tail, what's that? What's that used for? I got three of them, actually. Leathery, 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 leathery. Leathery... Oh, I have 46 of those. Okay, <laughs> I guess I was just, I just got really lucky before. Uh, let's stop for now. Hey, welcome! Give our pride our Eastern style cooking a try. I've come all the way from Bowles to visit the baths. These springs are worth it though. Best in the country, I tell ya. They're the only ones in the country. Huh? <laughs> 1000 Mira? Ah, oh, welcome. Welcome to the Maple Leaf Inn. We're famous for our Eastern style cooking here. Please try some and enjoy yourselves. And the shop. Let's see the shop. Mm -hmm. Cures blind? Okay. Ambrosial egg. 1300. Okay, let's get all of them so we can get the recipes. And, well, for the recipe, I guess Mountain Man stew as well. Okay. Uh, can I sell stuff? What can I sell? It's open. Prevents death blows. I don't know if that will be all that useful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Cures KO, heals all HP, restores 100 CP. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Feather brooch? Brooch? Prevents faint. Okay. No, no. Mm -hmm. Where does attack and defense will become water based? Wait, that means. Oof. Oof, wait. Never mind. That. It gets rid of gets rid of tear though. What about this? It doesn't get rid of of tear or la tear. It does get rid of Stellas though? Stellas is really good. Revives. But Chloe also has Stellas. Oh, but then again, what if Chloe dies, right? <clears throat> Wait, Arts Effect Range plus one. Ah, right, right. Let's just let it be this way for now. It peacefully recovers by walking. Oh, that's awesome, actually.
Uh, anyway, let's continue. Continue on. I didn't have anything better to do, so I got a part-time job here cleaning, but... Our customers are so old that it's hard to get excited about work. Wow. Uh, what? Over there, could it be? It's been a while. Have you been a good girl? What? Oh, I knew it's Lord Olivier! Oh, Lord? I'm so happy you came again! You came again? Lord Olivier? Lord Olivier, come by and sing again! You're at your most magnificent playing your lute after all. Damn. Oh, Lord Olivier, you're so cool! Mm, I wish he would kidnap me away to the Imperial Capital. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's. Let's get away from that. Yeah, let's. Any objections to get to getting away from what was your name again? Resia? Rishia? Well, yeah, let's let's get away from a bit a bit. Okay, so uh let's rest here to get our EP back. 200, sure. I'm in charge of the culture column for the liberal news. No matter how many times I come, I always fall in love with this village's eastern-style design. I've done an article about the inn here before. This time I want to write up a piece about the, cu about the cuisine. Oh, nice. Oh, are you looking for the inn? The Maple Leaf Inn is straight down the front road. Okay, and are you communicating well with your husband? By the way, don't you don't think I've forgotten about about that? You need to communicate with your husband well, Win. I don't care how good you are uh, with your singing. I don't care how good your Persona 5 songs are. Win, you need to communicate well, well with your husband, your family. Ah, oh, hey, welcome. I've got new stuff in, so, so take a look. Not many customers are coming. I hope one day he's doing his job out there and calling in customers. Mm -hmm. uh, tear bomb. Tear bomb. Mountain Man Steel needs free. Garden of Sea then. Wait, hold on, let me check the my recipes. Aged miso. Sit down HP 3000 all. Okay. Was CP 20 all. To go, HP 1500 cures KO. I should be doing this. I should be making this actually. Mountain Man Steel. It looks alright. Hmm. How much does it sell? Hold on. Sale price 147. Okay. And how much is it to make it? Vintage wine, azalea fruit, maple sugar, savory pinion. Maple 
tipo sugar e two, ok? Zilia fruit, Zilia. Guess, ok. In vintage wine, 300. Yeah, ok. I'm trying to see if I can cheese this. She's getting money, you know? Let's see if I can... Cheese it a little bit. How much did Azilia... Uh, Kay sell for again? forty-seven. okay, yeah. Okay, I doubt... This... Huh? Tomatrio sandwich. Well, anyway, let's move on. Oh, right. This, this side quest here, I'm actually curious. Is there some kind of reward for doing a lot? Sure, actually. But whatever. Um. Wait, I don't think I talked to everyone. Wait. Hey, welcome! Welcome to Elmo Village! Did you come here for the hot springs too? This place has been a hot springs, springs haven for some time now. We get a lot of visitors. Hey kid! Blizzards are fine, but the special forces are cool too. Oh, Quante! That, that's you? A kid? I love playing the villain! Huh? I read about the martial arts competition in the liberal news. It said that the Bracer team won. Bracers really are strong, huh? That was me, kid. It was me who won. <laughs> I got a bunch of money for it too, that I don't have anymore. Joshua stole it from me, I guess. Like you can said. Oh, it's locked? Oh, I can go inside now. Is it still locked, right? This has to be... This has to, un to unlock at some point. It has to. I'm seeing right there a little triangle. It's a, some kind of dungeon. I have to be able to go there at some point. It doesn't even have a name though. Anyway. Oh, that massive enemy spawned again. Hmm. But it gave nothing. It didn't really give anything, so... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing Riot is no longer here. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Move! <laughs> Not that way!
and Wolfford. But let's not go to Wolfford yet. I want to... Ooh! Is that... That's a... Yeah, it's a... Oh. It's a fishing rod. I should have... Should have gotten it earlier. Uh, oh well. Of those. Oh. Surprise attack? Okay. That's fine. Take that. Oh, only one? Oh, are we done already? Did nothing? Excuse me, um... That, that critical, that critical belongs to me. <laughs> there you go, uh, thank you, thank you. It's right in my face. Experience, it's not worth it all. It's not worth it at all to to go against those. Just why? <laughs> Carnelia Tower. Oh right, Carnelia Tower. Uh huh. Oh, uh, I think I've already done the that quest, so I can just yeah, just do that. Since it's way stronger. It charged right at me, what? Nah. 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 It just charges right at me, huh? It doesn't usually just charge at me. Interesting. But I guess I just gotta avoid it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh come on, really? Okay, fine. Just so you don't have just so you don't get the critical. Don't miss. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Beware of monsters. Yeah, I know. I know. Before going to Carnival with Hi. Let's use one of these here. Why do they all have to do that? Okay. Cure's fine, sure. Sea bubbles. And how do you make sea bubbles? With vintage wine. I guess the bubbles are alcoholic. I thought that was a preemptive strike. <laughs> Preemptive attack. It was not. That's for Wolf Fort? No? Oh no, it's those uh, pillars, right? No? Oh, it has to be. Yeah, it is. Wait. Save. Yep, I knew it. Has started off really well. They have impede? Oh no. No. Let me show you the truth. Actually? Only 500? No, I'm dead. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Three turns. What? How could I fail? So why three turns? Oh wow. Okay, now this will make it very easy. Easier, at least. Not very easy, easier. Ah! 
pam pam pa la ora ro ro What? What was that? What what was that? Way better. Way better. Uh, all that for a silver earring? You try watering the chest to see if something will sprout, but the only thing that grows is the smell. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Okay, so equip. Let's see. Prevents poison. Wow. Amazing! Wow, just... Oh, wow. I, I can't believe that the game would give me something like that, just... Truly impeccable. I'm gonna sell that. It's the only way for that to, to have any sort of value, is to sell it. Stella and uh, Scara are almost level 51. Oh, there's an enemy there. Hmm. Level 50, 51, baby. Let's go. Wait, no. It's, it's still a ways to go, but it's almost. Almost level 51. Ooh. Good place to try out my new fishing rod. The best set for fishing up small to medium sized fish. Ah, huh, so. Okay. I can use different... Okay, can use different bait. Makes sense. And I got... Liberal cap Carp. <gasps> A tear of balm? It's awesome. Okay, I got a tear ball, normal tear ball. Oh, let's try the red flies then. Loved by small fish. Let's try it. I only have one shot at this one, so let's see. Okay, 
Oof, okay. Did I get anything? A uh, dace. Tender whitefish. Healing saw formulated by the Septian Church. How did this... How did this get here? <laughs> okay, so... um, What did I get again? I forgot. I forgot what I got. Oh, tender whitefish. Hmm. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Wait, no, I should have used the, the other one, the other thing. Oh well, it's fine. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so lucky. Okay. Let's hope that works. If it's if it doesn't, then I have this. Enjoy the show. Eight hundred and five. Yes. 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 Okay, that's Carnivore Tower. Okay. There's still quite a lot to explore, isn't it? Let, let's go to Carnioe Tower. Was it, weren't the books in the first game named after Carnelia? They were Carnelia books, weren't they? Yeah, I remember it too. Right here in the in the beginning. Order means keeping your breath fresher, longer. What? <laughs> Okay. Reviving bow, nice, nice. You wonder if you could use art to turn this chest into a small wooden bathtub. Water would probably be fine. Fire to hit it? Likely not. True, true. I see if I can survive. I'll survive, survive. Eh, 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 eh. Stay, stay in the life, stay in the life. Found EP charge. As you look into the darkness of the empty chest, it reminds you of the darkness that fills your heart. Oh no. No. The humanity is so cruel. <laughs> uh, okay, let's save. Oh. Nice. I gave you everything I had to give. And yet. And yet. You've come back for more. The alimony wasn't enough. You you have to take the sap if too, Karen. What? No enemies at all? That's weird. But there will be enemies here. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Let's save again. No enemies. Huh? Okay. The empty chest shape tempts you to climb on top of it and start writing the next great Zemurian novel. You somehow resist the urge. This is a re this is a repeat. Yeah, this is a repeat one. But whatever, I love it anyway. I love you all equally. You are all my children, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Ah, there's an enemy over there. He came charging at me. It's quick as well, wow. Okay, uh, weak to water. Weak to whatever, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. Weak to whatever. That makes sense, right? Only 2 XP? What? You're weaker than the enemies outside, how? Back again, are we? 
How are you weaker than the enemies outside? That makes no sense. That, that does not go according to plan. Okay, let's go this way. Does it have anything? Let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Aerial. Good old re reliable aerial. Enjoy the show. Only 40 XP though. Just why? Seafood jelly. Sorry kid, I'm retired. <laughs> That's also repeat, I believe. Seafood jelly. Free found 600 cures. Ooh, nice. That's actually really nice. Okay, let's go to the middle one now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my, okay. That's a lot of sheep. That is quite a lot of sheep. Can I just walk around? Okay. That's quite a lot. Wow. Okay. Let's, let's be careful. Be careful. How much EXP do they give? Hmm. I don't know. Let's try it out. Uh, we only water. Only water. Okay, only, only water. <laughs> yeah, they're weak. They're, they're kind of weak. Hmm. And melee attacks would work better. Yeah, okay, so only one EXP per per. So it's not worth it at all. Oh! That's fine. I can work with that. I can vibe with that. Don't run away. That one ran away. gonna run away. He didn't. Oh, it's gonna run away now. Oh well. I only got one. Take that. 
That's fine though. Oh wait, uh, Chloe learned something? Chain 2 Storm came for 2 now. Sylphon Whip 2? Is that it? I'm not exactly sure who got something. Okay, whatever. Try to find as many palms as possible and hit them with the, the dark matter. Nice! Oh, it ran away. The one I chose. No, it's gonna run away though. It did not. It ran away now. Ugh. Oh well, I, I still got one at least. Missed. Oh, are we done already? Almost leveled up from that. Almost. I'm finding quite a lot of enemies with bombs, though, aren't I? Huh. Not that I'm complaining. Okay. Please. So let's go this way. I don't trust these, che these chests at all, so... Oh, blue cashmere. Let's see. Oh, is it for women only? Yeah, okay. Woven from the wool of blue-coated sheep monsters. Creepy. <laughs> um, defense 450, ADF 35. Oh, nice. Oh, it is. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to point out that Chloe is a princess, you know, future ruler of this country, and we're putting her in constant danger. Great idea. Well, I mean, it is what she wanted, so. Mm-hmm. 
There was a torch here the whole time? I don't didn't, didn't remember that. Five rings came. But laundry pole? <laughs> Okay, uh... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's just better. <laughs> Wooden staff carried by Eastern monks. Cool. This chest is holding a beauty pageant with all its other treasure chest friends. But beauty on the outside can save how empty it is on the inside. Oh! Oh no! Oh, you poor chest! Head pat the chest! Yep, <laughs> the one time I didn't save. Let's go then. Water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it explodes! Oh, I, I only remember that the last second. That it explodes. Why do they hit so hard and, and yet they give nothing in return? Well, this is gonna suck. You know what? Sure. Let's do this. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected, but that's fine. <laughs> that, however, is not fine. Yeah, okay. Let's try it again. There's no feather. There's no thing this time. Okay. I have earth, I earth wall, or earth, no, earth wall, yeah, which I have that. Somehow missed. Of course. 
you up. Oh, they, of course. Oh, hi kid! How are you doing? I'm gonna die! How about you? I'm putting on hard mode. And so I'm constantly dying. <laughs> How about you? Are you dying as well? <laughs> yeah, on the inside like me. I died on the inside about 12 years ago. Oh man, that sucks. 12 years ago, I was only 10 years old. <laughs> man. This. These birds just keep popping up. Olivier, why? Why? Olivier! Ah. Okay, uh... We're good to go! Get the alcoholic beverage. Oh, of course. Okay. Get another wall. I wish I had earth wall, not earth card. Okay. Oh, I can't reach there. I can't reach it. Oh my god. Okay, Azealia kiss again. The item that I will get from winning this fight, by the way, will not be worth it. How much do you want to bet that the item that we'll get from that I will get from this fight is not gonna be worth it at all? Yeah. Nah. Take that. 
Oh my god. <laughs> nah, it's not. One more Azilia kiss. Come on. There we go. Enjoy the show. And what do I get for it? Let's see. Attack free. Okay, not bad. Not not horrible. Not hmm. not horrible. Let's, let's see, where can I put... Yeah, right here. Okay. Actually... Cast 2. Yeah, no, this is very important. Arts effect range. Let's switch that out for this. Let's save. Now, what does the chest say? No freebies here, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh. Kate, I hope that... That my misery was fun to watch. Oh my god. Nifting hearing these earlier versions of the menu sound effects in Cold Steel. Oh, are the, the sound effects the same? I didn't realize that. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. Save. Oh, no enemy. No enemy. Great. Uh, Axel gear. Men only. Okay. Shoes with wheels affixed to the soul's Traeger brand. It's Traeger brand and Estelle doesn't get to wear them? That's... Nah, that's... that's evil. Uh, let's see... Oh, wait, yes, goes down considerably, but... Speed is amazing as well. It kind of feels like these have a bit more reverb, but I'm not sure. Oh, interesting. That's interesting, actually. But the ETS is so good, I don't know if I... If I want to get rid of it, let's keep it as it is for now. You find a whole bunch of caterpillars. They're kind of crawly and gross, but they'll grow up into butterflies or moths. Morphs, morphs are kind. Yeah, moths are kind of gross too. <laughs> I love the treasure chest dialogue. It's so cool. It's so good. I gr I love it. Any palms? No. If you don't have palms, then whatever. EP charge, nice. The chest is empty now. So empty. So lonely. Please don't go. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. I think I came from there. Uh, then let's go here. That is painful. How dare! <laughs> Red jacket. Empty emptiness as far as the eye can see. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, let's see. Equip. Oh, is it main main only again? Yeah, main only again. Defense one hundred and fifty. 
nice. The ATS goes down, but I guess I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Dexterity goes up a lot. Wow, that's awesome. That's actually pretty awesome. And over here? Nothing. And I'm on the roof. Okay. By the way, I'd like to point out that I'm here way earlier than... Oh, hey, there's a castle there. Hold on. Is that... Yeah. It's a Grensel castle. That's what I love about this game. Like, for example, if you were here in the, in Saffield Tower, right? You would be able to see in the background the lighthouse here. And here in Carnelia Tower, you can see in the in the background the Grensel Castle. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love attention to detail. Okay, now I just have to climb back down. <laughs> Yeah, clap. Exactly. It's worthy of a clap. Uh, not worth it. If you don't have palms, you're not worth it. Actually, uh, items. EP charge. I almost discarded it. Oh no. Wait, I gave the EP charge to the wrong person. I opened that chest already. All right. We went there, leveled up like twice, I think. Yeah, we leveled up twice. That's awesome. Now, where's the enemy in the trap points? I'm in the trap points right now. And I want to know... Oh! <laughs> I wonder where the, the, the enemy, the boss enemy is. Huh. I wonder. Where could it possibly be? <laughs> okay. This is gonna be tough. Oh my god, it looks so gross. It looks so gross too, wow. You're weak to nothing in particular? Oh wait, no. Doesn't look to be prowling to me. <laughs> Absorbs a channel's corruption in the earth. As well as anything it moves. Okay. Why did you move? Oh, you don't have any CP. That's right. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, that was very close. Way too close for comfort. Mm. Wait, Saint, what does this do? Temporarily increases an ally's parameters. 
strength and defense plus 25%. That's awesome. Temporarily boost strength by fire. Heaven's kiss. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> no. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's play more defensively. Wow, she died quickly. Okay. Oh no. Wow. <sighs> yeah. This is my life. Th yeah, this is my life. Nah, just die. Let's just die. It's not worth it. How could I let's try? Run, let's run. Actually, let's run. Let's fight other enemies for now. And build our CP up. Doesn't look... Oh yeah, sorry. I already read that. <laughs> A pop. Wait, I don't have. Oh, oh no. Oh. I made a mistake. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, done already? And I leveled up. Okay. Let's let's go to the ornaments again. That. Taking out... Hmm. Taking... I don't want to ha to be without the Dark Matter one. What did I have here, by the way? I don't remember. What did I have? Oh, right. It was range. It was range. Right. Okay, I have Dark Matter back. Maybe if I give uh, Scara attack to win instead. Seems fine. Okay, let's try that again. That's that's not right. Save. Okay, let's try that again. 
Terminate. Annihilate. Started off pretty bad, though, actually. That's so much damage. This is way more manageable now. Hopefully, maybe. We're good to go. It, only sixty XP? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Only six? Wow! Wow! I mean, wow! Truly outstanding, amazing. I don't. <laughs> wow. Truly one of a kind. How can I fail? Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ornaments. Oh, there's a chest. Wait, let's save. Let's save. Oh. Okay, nice. Ooh, you're one of those completionist types, huh? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Um, I mean, I'm not exactly much of a completionist, but the way I play games sometimes leads me to complete them. Sometimes. It's weird. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Because I really take my sweet time with every game. Or at least try to take my time with them. Ooh! Chest! <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back to Zeiss. Yeah, let's go back to Zeiss. Uh. Uh. If you're not a bomb, you're not worth my time. <laughs> my time. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the guild branch. Yeah. Now the only... Oh wait, no. There's also the... The model gun thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, which floor was it again? Uh, let's guess 3F. Yeah, 3F. Hey, come to report. Yeah, we fought the battles. Well then, allow us to report the results to date. 
Olivia reported the current results to the test to Carl. Yeah, seems like you've fought enough. Man, looks like you worked pretty hard too. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> As but a humble assistant, it was the least I could do. So, Olivier, were there any problems? No, absolutely no problems. Stable trajectory, trajectory and a perfectly centered balance. I'm eager to see a fine piece of work like this out on the market. <sighs> Thank goodness, you have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Alright, seems like I can see the production phase on the horizon. Ba -ba -bam -ba. Oh, it's not gonna be mass produced yet? Looks like it's pretty done from my point of from my point of view. No, it still needs a bit more time. Now I need to hone in on the fine details for the manufacturing. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da and I'm able to do that because of the results you got me from this test. This new info should make further research fly ahead. Keep up the good work. A new model orbital gun. I'll be expecting great things. Yeah, look forward to it. Oh, right, one sec before you go. Huh? Was there something else? Yeah, take this with you. Oh, heat free, nice. It was bothering me uh, a bit that the reward was kinda meager. Well, think of this as making up for that. It's not a bad thing to have a bit of, so please take it. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. Huh, <laughs> we'll be glad to use it. Well then, if anything else comes up, I'll call you guys. You all take care. See you all later. Time to cast art is cut, but hit free would be absolutely amazing. Oh, but I get... Uh, yeah, I, I will be without the dark matter and I, I don't want that. Wait, what? I have a, a defense here, but it doesn't give. Oh, it does stone hammer. Ah, uh, whatever. Stone hammer is kind of whatever, but let's skip it. Oh, by the way, uh, Kit, I don't, I don't know if, if this character comes up later. Maybe it does, but Tita, she's so cute. In case you don't know her, she's so freaking cute. I love her. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> okay, now. Before going on, going with the main story, we're gonna go to Laysan Fortress. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Kit has uh, mastered the art of talking with emojis. <laughs> bum, bum. Report. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now let's go to Waste and Fortress over here <laughs> with a mic and everything. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. No Kung Fu! Big jump! But you're just one. And you only gave one, one EXP, wow. I'm, I'm so, so proud of you. You have no idea at all. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Thank time gates? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's there to Grand Soul. I might as well. Let's go there. Maybe there's something. I don't know. <laughs> 
I didn't find the cute character is priority number one. Absolutely. Always. Always look for the cute cutest characters. Enjoy the show. Only free XP. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that was a massive waste of time, massive waste of EP, a massive waste of everything. How's it going? If you have business, take it inside with the commander. That was what made playing Final Fantasy VIII and XI so hard for me. There weren't any characters that fulfilled my inner need for cuteness. <laughs> Welcome to Sang Sang Gate. Welcome, yeah. Wait, wait, what was that? Oh, it said something. Eight and nine. Oh, nine, I thought, I thought it said XI, my bad. I haven't played eight or nine. Uh, the only Final Fantasy games that I have played, let's see. Uh, 7. 7 Remake. Uh, I, I played a little bit of 10. <laughs> I, I, I played a little bit of 10 uh, as a child, like in my childhood. It was a borrowed game. I, I didn't play it to the end. There was actually, since the game was in English, and well, my English isn't my native language, I could barely understand anything. The only way I was able to do anything at all was by doing every single attack and doing every single thing in the in the menu during the, the attacks, like doing the battles and memorizing what each thing did. Like just being, just memorizing every single thing. <laughs> But I got to a point in a temple that had a puzzle and well, since I couldn't read what, what it said, uh, I I just kind of got stuck. I didn't know what was required of me to do. I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of got stuck. And then... Uh, and then I just had to give the game back to, to my friend. Uh, yeah, I've been in those shoes with some Japanese games. Yeah, I... I know. <laughs> I know. I know how it feels. Although nowadays I don't really have that, ty that type of patience anymore. And at least I know how to read English. Uh, I know English at least, because if I didn't know English, I wouldn't be able to... to play all of these awesome games. Oh, welcome! Should you need an explanation of facilities here, just ask. And English is just, uh, English is just a very handy uh, language to, to know. And English, honestly, I know that native English speakers always say that Oh, English is so hard, it makes no sense. Honestly, English is, to me, in, from my perspective, English is very easy. I don't know why it just clicks. Everything just clicks right in place, even though a lot of things don't make sense. <laughs> I don't know why. It just does. I think English is pretty easy, actually. Since you're here, why not have a good long look at and admire the Annenberg wall as you go? Oh, and, um, okay, so aside from 10, let's see, I played a little bit of 15 at a friend's house, and I played just a small tidbit of 16. I played a little bit of the demo, and also a bit further ahead from the demo at a cousin's house, but I don't know much. Um, I don't know much at all, and I have played 14, obviously, I have played, I am playing 14, of course. That much is obvious. The hardest one I've taken was Chinese. Uh, I've never tried learning Chinese, so I don't know. Uh, let's see, uh, but languages that I know, let's see. Uh, I know English, obviously, of course. Um, I know Portuguese, which is my native language. Uh, I know, well, I know a tiny bit of Spanish, but that's mostly if I try to read. If I try to read Spanish, I can decipher it. Because honestly, it feels a little like a, a bug version, <laughs> a buggy version. But uh, don't don't say that to any Spanish speakers. 
The original playable races in 14 are the same races as in 11. I noticed. Yeah, it's cool. But they have different names for them. Oh, they, they do. Interesting. But yeah, I noticed that they are the same races. It's cool. Pretty cool. Um, I know a little bit of French. Like, a tiny bit of French that I learned in school. I learned French for three years in school. Um, not of my own free will. <laughs> not at all out of my own free will. <laughs> but I did. Welcome, welcome to the cafeteria. Take any seat you like. Je know... Je parle français a little bit. <laughs> you know the Taro Taro? The equivalent race of Lalafell in 11 is Taro Taro. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Nice reference then. Pretty nice reference. Passion Omelette. Wow, it's only 200 and it heals 2200 HP and cures blind. Wow, that's. That's awesome. What? Oh, hold on. Kiara Bomb is 2000 HP and it's way, way more expensive, huh? Sh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. Buy yeah, <laughs> let's get that one. Let's get that. Oh, I, I kept uh, the Orbo gun? Huh. Uh, the laundry. Passion Omelette! <laughs> uh, wait. Is there any point in keeping the gun at all? No. Uh, okay, I'll keep it. I'll keep it just in case. Macho meat stew. Okay. And macho meat stew does sit down. HP 1800 plus CP 35 all. Oh, no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, I was mostly just talking to myself. Uh, CP 35 all. Oh. That's nice, I guess. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's nice. I've only played Cold Steel. I didn't notice Azure setting on top of a stack of things the other day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah uh, you did mention that you've only played Cold Steel. Uh, I hope they are good, because honestly I'm playing Trails in the Sky, the first game was awesome and the second game is just as good. <laughs> and uh, I'm still only in Chapter 2, and I know that this game is double the length, so maybe like 8 or 9 chapters, maybe 10. So it will get even better, but so far it's just as good, <laughs> just amazing. There's no one with the with a book? No? With the what was it called? The Gambler Jack book? I thought that maybe there was here, because the Game Boy Jack book is, is missable, just like the Carnelia books in the first game. Okay. I actually got, I almost got all of the Carnelia books in the first game, almost. I missed one, I, I think, I think I only missed one, I, either I missed one or two, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I missed one, I missed eight, volume eight, I think. And if there's a volume 10, then I miss that one too. Trying to climb the wall is insane. What does he plan on doing if he falls? Uh, no way. I hope he isn't thinking of doing anything too crazy. What? What are you doing, man? I hate birthday celebrations. Ah, what? Farewell, my youth. Oh, yeah, you feel old. You feel old. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Anton. You're facing towards ice. If you hate the birthday celebration, at least scream towards the capital. <laughs> My buddy Anton confessed to his favorite girl during the Queen's birthday celebration, but 
He was totally rejected in the bluntest way possible. Oh. Apparently he came here to erase those memories. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. Not because you feel old, but because of that. Okay. You have my sympathies. Pat Pat. Pat Pat. <laughs> Right, Grand Soul region, I can't go there. So, no book? No book. What do you all want? Sorry, I'm very busy right now. Don't get in the way, please. Alright. Ah, oh, but wait. I mean the Western Fortress. Right? Training? Training assistance. If you are able to join, report immediately to Western Fortress. That's where I am, right? Oh, wait, no, I'm in the time gate. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. I forgot I came... I, I went to the, the wrong way on purpose. Whoa! Um, I had an insanely careful playthrough of Cold Steel and missed two things total. One I suspected could be a thing, but I calculated in my head how long it would take to check the one thing, and it was so time consuming that I was hoping they wouldn't have done that, but they did. <laughs> the second thing was due to going to bed without finishing clearing a full exploration. When I loaded it back up, I moved on with the story on autopilot. Forgot to finish the checks, oof. Oh man, that, that's... That sucks. This game... The Trails game do seem like they have a lot going for them, right? They do have a lot. Let's have I Jack me, see you soon. Oh! Hats! <laughs> Oh, well, while I was in Zeiss, I could have gone to the Yorbo factory, I forgot. Perilous meatballs. <laughs> Even though there wasn't anything in the chest, opening it showered you in confetti. Yay! Oh. Back. Oh, hi, back. <laughs> Last thing I had heard was this game. Oh, um, this game has a lot going for it, right? Like the Trails games in general have a lot. It's really hard to to 100% them on the first playthrough. Anyway, uh, Kid Fox, look at this. Even though there wasn't anything in the chest, opening, chow opening it showered you in confetti. Yay! That's your reward for going through the ads. Uh, I'm sorry about the ads, but yay, confetti! Woo! <laughs> I suspect it was dust. Don't tell the characters, though. <laughs> oh no. The poor characters. Wait. Uh, oh, it's fire. You missed! That's not the one that I... Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh wait, I went into autopilot and I started uh, beating enemies. When I shouldn't. They're a waste of time. The bombs? No. No bombs. 
No. These chests. I'm always very wary, wary of these chests. Oh, okay, good. Looking into yet another empty chest, you wonder who leaves all of these lying around unlocks. Good question. Very, 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 very good question, my good man. Anyway, oh, uh, by the way, uh, Kid Fox. In case you don't know, I screenshot every single one of these ch of these treasure chest dialogues and post them on the on my Discord channel. <laughs> like my the the trails in the sky channel. It's just it's just <laughs> a bunch of screenshots <laughs> of all the treasure chest dialogue that I found. <laughs> <laughs> good lord It's for a good cause The cause being my laughter <laughs> That's that's the cause Why do they come charging at me? Oh no Gotta pre preserve that, that humor <laughs> Actually, ingredients, items, uh, healing. Passion omelette. Let's just use the passion omelette. And the recipe for the passion omelette is... Kibble salt, black pepper, red pepper, bird egg, fresh eggs. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. We'll see. Do you have powers, my good man? No. I don't even know if it's a man. Probably, maybe a female shape, I don't know. Any palms? No. Gotta preserve that, preserve that room. Humor? You got that right. Curia Balm. Any chance you could put that thing back where you found it? No. Oh, uh, wait, I forgot about the MP. MP2? Wait, what do I get from this? From this? I don't seem to get anything. In that case, two percent of users max HP when defeating an enemy. That's cool. Evade. Prevent enemy arts and crafts with. I was expecting more from. In piece two, but I I guess not. Oh, Sylphon Guard? Uh, I mean, it's kind of useless to be honest. When you have Earth Guard and especially later on Wall Guard, then whatever. So I guess I'll just put In piece two on Scarra. And move on. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. Earth. Wait, no. Retreat. Why did I say Earth? Hello there. Ooh, you can. Hi. Just like what I said, sometimes I don't even notice that you are streaming. <laughs> well, I mean. I mean, it's not like I, it's not like I try to hide it. There's a there's a live channel, like there's a cha there's a channel for whenever I go live. I also post it on my uh, Twitter. Yeah, I also post it on my Twitter. <laughs> wait, huh? Oh wait, now that I'm seeing. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at the meme channel. Sorry. Hmm? <laughs> Wait, that's not what I... <clears throat> not what I want to do. Okay? Okay? It's fine? It's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, you can 
uh, redeemed the first, so I'm sorry, Kit Fox. You're not the first. <clears throat> oh, and uh, also, I think... Uh, yeah, uh, Riot Knife King also came up uh, before. Like, he was the first one to, to come up on stream. But he didn't redeem the, the first... The first redeem, so, you know. <laughs> He's not the first. Discord won't send out notifications, and I'm trying to figure it out why. Now, he's a real first v viewer. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> well, actually... Um, on the live channel i don't i don't ping anyone like i used to ping everyone but now i don't anymore i want to to set up a bot so only people who want to get pinged for for it will get the ping but i'm a boomer <laughs> when it comes to bots for some reason just bots just don't work for me the only bot that i was able to to get it to work was ping cord and that's because it's just super easy but anytime I try to to set up a bot for roles and and all that stuff, it just never works out. I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong ever. But oh well. <laughs> this is Western Fortress, headquarters of Her Majesty's Royal Army. Civilians are currently barred from entry. Oh, but um, we're here about the request you posted on the guild board. Yes, the one which requested help for special training. Did you? Did your commander not inform you we were coming? Ah, that, yes. Oh my god, Discord didn't change the notification settings. I want to screenshot, but my storage is dying. Just, uh, you might have a lot of images saved up. Just delete a, delete a bunch that you don't need or something. Command did say something about that now, now that you mentioned it. Not even a soldier, and they've roped you into helping with the training, huh? I certainly don't envy you. Um, well, it's part of the job. Anyway, could you could you get whoever's in charge? Certainly, but are you sure you're ready? Ready? What do you mean? We've been engaged in a rigorous training program for some time now, with no significant rest breaks. They're probably going to toss you into the meat grinder as soon as you go in. So if you need to change equipment or get anything, you should take care of that before going in. Oh, I see. Okay. Could we get a little bit of time then? Duly noted. Would you mind waiting a bit then? Not a problem. Wow, okay. Once you're ready, just say the word and I'll let you in. Huh. Okay then. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's save. Let's save first. You folks ready? Yes. Alright then, let me get the training command. Well, never mind. Here he is now, sir. Sir! Huh? How do you know? Communications, maybe. Has an... Has some earbuds. Major Seed? I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. My apologies for all the trouble we caused you during the kidnapping of Professor Russell. You really deserve a much more formal apology at some point, but... <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I mean, you let us get away. Mm. Your gratitude does me more credit than I deserve, Miss Sprite. Anyway, we saw your posting on the board at the guild. You're doing some kind of special training, right? Yes, I intended for it to be a simple standard mi training mi yeah, standard training mission session. Ah, why am I defaulting to mission? But General Morgan is due to arrive at the base shortly. I thought I'd give the men an extra vigorous workout to make sure they're ready to show off, as it were. Yeah, that makes sense. He's got such a booming voice, you have to be ready for it or else it'll totally throw you off. <laughs> indeed. Normally, General Bright would be in charge of this sort of thing. 
However, he's not present, present at the moment, so I'm in command for now. Oh, I see. So that's usually here, huh? According to the schedule, he should actually be returning soon. If you'll be in Zeiss for a while, Miss Bright, you'll likely have a chance to meet up with him. Yeah, I might. Colonel Seed, it's time, sir. Alright. Ah, oh, right. We have been talking a bit too long, haven't we? Officer Belk? Belk? Okay. If you would please give me... Give the rundown. Yeah. Colonel Seed, huh? Weren't you Major Seed before? Uh, yes. I actually got the, the notice just a little while ago. I've been pronoun... Ah, English, you're failing me. I've been promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, neat. Well, congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Seed. Beep boop pop beep. Hi, welcome back, to Riot. I... thank you. To be honest, though, it's a bit embarrassing. I only did what my country and duty asked of me. Oh, by the way, Riot, I know you were the first one to join the... to, to be in the chat. However, Yukin was the one that redeemed first, so... You know, rules are rules. You're no longer the first one to arrive. Sorry. It, I don't... I would say I don't make the rules, but I actually do. I, I do make the rules. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Twelfth. Oh, wait, no, second. Oh, wait, no, I, I, I saw the, the, que the question mark and I thought it was the first. My bad. <laughs> Wait, um, hold on, let me, uh, headpad. Yeah, here's a headpad. <laughs> here's a headpad for you. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> do I want to be annoying? Should I be annoying? I'm gonna be annoying. <laughs> no, no. Should I be annoying here? I should, I should. Uh, I'm gonna be annoying for the sake of comedy. Hey there, everyone. If you want to use my emotes, subscribe. <laughs> and if you subscribe, you will see my misery. I will be miserable because, because... I'm gonna eat a spicy gummy, and these gummies are very, very spicy, like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> that was for the sake of comedy. I do actually have spicy gummies here, um, beside me, but that's... <laughs> um, beside me, no, uh, what's the... Uh, with me on, on my desk, but anyway. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> To be honest though, it's a bit embarrassing. I only did what my country and duty asked of me. Hey, there's no need to be humble. You earned it. I agree, sir. We'll be relying on you even more in the days to come. Officer Belk, I believe I gave you an order. Er, sorry, sir. Let me explain the subject of our request then. You want us to assist with training, correct? Wait, hold on, let me hydrate. I know no one redeemed hydrate, but... Uh, wait, hold on, actually? Hold on, let me hydrate. Let me redeem hydrate. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Uh, thank you, JoaVT, for the hydrate. Huh? You are making them to subscribe because you said you will eat spicy gummy. Well, I mean, that's already in the title, so who cares? Just subscribe if you want, really. I don't really mind either way, I just... Are you selecting choices via the number keys or something? Selecting choices via the number keys? Huh? Number keys? W what's that? What do you mean? In the dialogue. No. Wait, what? I'm not seeing any 
नंबर इक्कीस I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you mean? What number keys? <laughs> what specifically did you have in mind? The idea is to have you participate in some staged battles against the soldiers. You'll be fighting two back-to-back -back matches with no time in between whatsoever. Ha! Huh, what a thing to walk into. Oh, hi. Uh Izo Games. Hi. Welcome, the f you're the first time. First time here, aren't you? Uh, wait, no. Wait, uh, English. <laughs> English is, fail is failing me. Uh, uh, the first time here, isn't it? It's your first time. Ah. I'm not a native English speaker. Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> uh, I think what I was picturing isn't what was happening. I was just guessing. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, yes and yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome. Here, uh, have a ceremonial headpat. <laughs> a ceremonial headpat here for your entry as a welcoming committee. It's a welcoming committee. It requires you to to receive headpats. You'll be fighting two back to bat, ba ba bat to bat. What? Two back to back matches with no time in between whatsoever. I can tell, but it's okay. Um, do you mean my my English? Like, <laughs> uh, you'll need to consider your pace, so you don't wear yourselves out completely. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if my English is okay, then awesome. Non-stop combat with no breaks. Uh, this sounds like it's gonna be kind of hard. It'll be rough. I can't deny that. Your role is to go through both battles and and not just test, uh, and not just test, but provide a model for our soldiers. So don't hold back. Fight both battles to win. Understood. Oh, don't worry. We won't be gentle, says the the woman with a whip. It is quite good for a non-native speaker. Yay! That's awesome. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Hold on. Uh, let's give another head pat. Oh, wait. I must escape to sleep. No! Sleep! Why must you sleep? Ah! Uh, sleep. Have some coziness. Mm -hmm. Have some coziness, some blankets. And sleep. You deserve it. Uh, head pat. <laughs> pat pat. <laughs> well, this sounds... This is sounding promising. Alright, Officer Bel Belk. Lead the bracers to the training grounds. Yes, sir. I'll see you there, everyone. Pam 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 Follow me if you would. <laughs> okay, that sounded weird at the end. Bam, 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 bam. So I'd skid a hot chocolate in an attempt to bribe him. <laughs> oh, bam, 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 bam. This is kind of weirdly nostalgic, huh? Last time, I couldn't really get a feel for it since it was so dark. But this base is huge! It's really cool! Yeah, we uh, infiltrated the military base last time. <laughs> hmm, not so nostalgic for me, but yes, I can see why they call it a fortress. This is a headquarters for the Royal Army, remember? Its purpose is a bit different from that of the smaller forts and guard posts you find in the countryside. Just kidding, kid, go, go sleep. <laughs> Hmm, I do believe the new meat we are to grind now awaits us on the counter. Very well, with our challengers here, we'll begin the staged battles. 
Your opponent shall be a group of elite bracers. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say elite bracers, we're, we're rank F. But we did save the country, so... <laughs> I suggest you give them your all. They are veterans, including the victors of this year's martial arts competition. Oh yeah, the victors of... We're so dead. <laughs> oh no. As explained, you'll be fighting a two-round combat match. Keep that in mind, and pace yourselves accordingly. V we're ready. Huh. I can go as many rounds as you like, and more. I won't slap you. I'm sure you boys will get tired long before I do. No time like the present, then. Both sides, arms at the ready. They have guns, though. Begin! They have guns! Dun, dun, dun. Uh, oh, it's the, the martial, arts, martial arts competition music! You're weak too? Nothing in particular, okay. They are selected for their skill in battle. Okay, um, let's do this. I, I want to take... Can I get that critical? No, I can't. That's a shame. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wow, they just... They just went in. Critical failure, huh? Couldn't resist. Nice. Okay, uh, let's try. I am on on hard mode. Oh. Wait, when did that one come in? Weren't there only four? I thought weren't there only four before? Did did I see it wrong? Oh, are we done already? There are four still? Well, yeah, like, weren't there f four in the beginning? When, when did it become five? Yeah, there were only four there. And I, there were... When did the fifth come for? Uh, we win! Oh, done already? I was just starting to enjoy myself. No, you weren't. I'm glad, I guess. They were kicking our asses, okay? <laughs> ow, 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 ow! It was never five? Unless I missed something. I... Oh, okay, I'm, I might be remembering it wrong, but... I... I beat one up, and one was down, but then there were four? I... I might be wrong, I might be wrong. F forget it. It's fine. What are you men waiting for? Withdraw from the field. Sir! Next! Next! Officer Belk! Sir! Bam, bam. Ooh, okay. They really aren't gonna let us rest. Huh. Oh dear. I wish they would at least perm permit me... Permit me to straighten my hair. <laughs> Hmm, no less than I would have expected from champions of the arena. Trying to lower my guard by giving me an opening, are you? Er, uh, no? I think you're getting a little too into it, Mr. Velk. We're still in training. Please abstain from personal conversations. Now then, round two. Both sides, arms at the ready. Begin! <laughs> Heaven's kiss! Bam, 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 bam. 
Warrant Officer Belk. A seasoned warrior not to be taken lightly. Okay, almost double the health. Okay. They're gonna they're all going to to run away, so let's do something else. Let's do flare our flare, flare arrow again. Wait, no, 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 no. I have an, another idea. More hours. <laughs> Oh no. They hit so hard. Heaven's kiss. Another victory for us, eh? Yeah, somehow. <sighs> We've lost. Officer Belk, can you still fight? Sir? Yes, yes, sir! Good, then get ready. Oh, are you kidding me? Yes, sir! A third one? Um, ready for. Oh no. Hmm? Whatever could you mean? Perhaps you intend to throw us a party in celebration for our, our outstanding finesse. No, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight Sid. Party? Just ignore him. Very well. No, I asked him to prepare for another round, of course. What? You said we'd only be fighting two battles. I did. However, in response, in response you distinctly proclaimed that you were okay with any number of rounds. Uh, well... I may have said that, technically. Scara! Well, we can't do anything about it now. What can I say? I was caught up in a moment! I'd like to take you up on that offer and request one more round. And I shall serve you as your final opponent. Yep. Wait, you, Colonel? Ah, so at long last your true intentions are revealed. You cannot bear to watch and wait without testing your own skill as well. 
There is no need to hide such feelings, sir. <laughs> Guess I've been seen right through. Ah, I see now. Well, don't worry, I'm always up for more. Oh my god, okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. It's no problem. Oh boy. Now then, let us begin. Are you prepared? Whenever you are. On your guard. Oh, there's music. No. Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh no, I should have... Mm. Oh no, I should have stocked up on the uh, Azealia thing. I forgot to stock up. Ten thousand. Uh, Fate of the Fairy song, if I remember correctly, it's a good one. Ooh, I never heard it before. The first time. That is so little. Oh no. Silver wheel? Na, 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 na. Silver wheel! Hey! <laughs> hey, silver! I think it plays at the beginning when fighting Kurt, like way back. Oh, it might have. It might have. It plays silver wheel there, though. I, I caught it. That's awesome. You're a piece screwed, I know. Frozen? Oh no. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I forgot about the EP.
I think he waits his turn, at least. Oh, there's another one back there. Raw soldier. E oh no. Oh crap. No! Seriously? Oh, not good. Not good at all. I try. I risked it. I risked. I risked, and that did. That's. And this is my reward for risking it. I hate you. I, I genuinely hate you. No one can. No one can stop him.
That is nothing. Okay. Okay, I can save myself now. I can save myself now. I'm gonna die here. And I don't have anything that gives CP. So... I'm gonna die right here. I'm gonna die right here. Yeah. I'm dead. <sighs> I mean, I can load back. Oh, you can... You should have put the, the glasses on if I won. <laughs> it would have been perfect. Oh well. I mean, I can load back. That was inevitable, I think. He pushed us right to the edge. But this is absolute. Even our spirits had the wind knocked from them. No, being able to fight that well after back-to-back -back battles is still quite impressive. You've been more than enough of a model for our soldiers. Nah, I accept the sunglasses anyway, you can. No, sir, I believe you were the model. It's something to admit, but we learned a lot here. Yeah, I don't think we've ever gotten pounded by arts like that before. Maybe we should give our ornament setup another look. If you two learn something from this, that makes it all worthwhile. True power doesn't stem from the technique itself, after all, but from how you use it. This goes for arts and crafts alike. Excellent advice. Members of the Royal Army train to improve ourselves no less than bracers, and we fully intend to continue doing so, for the sake of lasting peace in this kingdom. Yeah, we're going to keep training as well. If the chance comes up, I'd love another ch another shot. Yeah, uh, another shot. I certainly love another another round someday. I have my word that you will have that chance. This concludes our training, then. Good work, man. Uh, is it worth it to load back and, and try it again? Friends, thank you for coming out here today. I'm sure we will have more to, to ask of you in the future. I hope we can expect similar results when that when that time comes. You bet, Colonel Sid. We intend to support the military to, uh, to the utmost of our ability. If you need anything, don't hesitate to, con to contact the guild. You have my thanks. Now, if you pardon me. Uh, only for bracer points, if you're going for that kind of thing. Eh, I mean... Can I still get S rank anyway if I don't... <laughs> Can I still get S rank anyway? I don't know if it has a bonus, but I imagine if it... I imagine it does. Um, hold on, let me go see... Let me go look at a, at a guide. Uh... I can always just look at the guy then. <laughs> Winning the last battle earns 2 BP and Gladiator Headband. Uh, Gladiator Headband, uh, is that good? Let's see. If it's really good, then maybe. But if it's not, then whatever. CP 10 per plus 10 percent, strength plus five, and defense plus five minus five. I mean, that is good. CP recovery rate rises. FC had bonuses all over the place for winning. Yeah, it did. I remember that. Oh, yes, yes. CP in battle. Very good. Mm. You know what? You know what? Let's go. 
um, I've already saved here, so let's just load the previous one. Let's just try, let's try. I was really close. Oh wait, I, I forgot again to go... Oh, whatever. It takes a while to get back into Zeiss anyway, so... Shouldn't you restock first? Yeah, yeah, I remember that after say after I said yes, <laughs> way after I said yes, but now, oh well. Let's let's go anyway. <laughs> When you do battle 2, make sure your EP is already up before winning. Yeah, yeah, good point. Good, good idea. Thank you. Didn't me he missed the others. Why did, why did I move on before healing? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Why, why did I move on for, for healing? I'm so such an idiot. Dun, 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 dun. Got ice. Only four guys, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it was four guys. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like physical, normal physical attacks are doing more damage than than this.
Of course. Mm. Oh, sweet, that's perfect for help. Yeah, while it lasts. We're gonna EP Hill? Yep, I do. Let's hope we can... I wish I had Earth Wall. I wish, I really, really wish I had Earth Wall. But I do not. Okay. Let's go then. Already? What's the difference the turn bonus makes, eh? I know, right? It really does. I thought 
I thought I had enough on on Scarlet for for more turns. Oh no. <laughs> well, first mistake right there. That's okay though. How can I fail? Do not use CP. Do not. Do not use CP. Again? Oh my god. Chloe! <laughs> oh no, I'm dead again. Or not? Oh, that's new. Well, that that one was new. Huh. Earth card is more important is more important. Of course. Wow. <laughs> truly, truly impeccable. And I'm gonna die again. Oh no, Chloe still has Earth card. I knew he could survive that. Okay. I thought he could survive that. Right. How are you gonna get out of this loop though? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. 
Red Sam is this good, I hope he uses that more. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Again. Doesn't reach. That's fine, that's fine. Actually, that's fine. We're good to go! Okay, we're all safe in case. Well... Okay then. We're good to go. Death blow. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, of course. Wait, no, not penetrate, impede. 
I almost... <laughs> I almost screwed myself. Yes! Oh! Yes! <sighs> Ooh. Wait, hold on, hold on, let me... Hold on, let me take a breather, hold on. He stopped spending, spamming the attack. You would have been done for if he didn't do that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You <laughs> That's completely 100% true. <laughs> if he just continues spamming that attack, uh, I would have been caught in a loop of just Earth Guard every single time. And, and then I would eventually run out of EP and... And then CP as well to to use the impede on him. Just I would have lost. There were there was also there were also other attacks that he could have used a lot that he didn't. That would just almost one shot me. Oh man. Okay, we won. I think somehow. Thank goodness that was close. I don't think we could have taken much more. Much more. Incredible. Total defeat. I'm, I'm impressed you did so well, even after back-to-back -back fights. You're the perfect model for our soldiers. No, sir, I believe you were the model. Oh, okay, it's the same dialogue. Okay, this goes for arts and crafts alike. Excellent advice. Same dialogue, and we fully intend to continue doing so, for the sake of lasting peace in this kingdom. Yeah, we're going to keep training as well. If the chance comes up, I'll open another shot. Shot, yep. This concludes our training then. Good work, man. Oh man, okay. Friends, thank you for coming out here today. I'm sure we'll have more to ask of you in the future. I hope we can expect similar results when that time comes. You bet, Colonel Sid. We intend to support the military for the utmost of our ability. If you need anything, don't hesitate to contact the guild. The guild. I will, thank you. And you got a belt for it, literally. <laughs> yes, I, I literally got the belt. I will, thank you. As a parting gift, let me offer you this. Officer Belk? Sir, Gladiator headband, nice. It may not be much, oh it is, but it should come in handy at some point. I hope you will accept it as thanks for your assistance. Thanks, Colonel Sid. Goodness, thank you very much, Colonel. Now, if you'll pardon me. Hope we meet again soon. Oh man, that was kind of brutal. Every single time I stream this game, I regret um, I regret choosing to go with hard mode. Good work in there. They really put you through the ringer today. Oh yeah, Ruby Talisman. I got this one before. Defense will become fire based. Gotcha.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I think that's all the side quests. Before moving on with the main story. Oh. No palms, you're not worth my time. If you don't have any palms, then forget it. Uh, okay, sunk time gate. Yeah, I already went there to see if there were. Huh? First time or? Uh, yeah, it's the first time I'm playing this game. I played. I finished. Um, FC, uh, the first chapter. Uh, in June of this of this year, I believe. I'm playing now SC for the first time. I love FC. It was so good. It was amazing. I loved it. I had. I have like 100 and something hours on it, <laughs> but I love it, it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, June would be last year. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're 100% right. Uh, we're already, wait. Yeah, we're already in fe February. And my mind is still in 2023. Okay, uh, are there any others? No. Okay, then let's go to Wolfford. <laughs> I say let's go to Wolfford as I go straight into a wall. I already went to Elmo Village in this... <gasps> a pump! Junubi was a restock. Oh! Yes, you're right. Seems you came up short. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Restock. Restock. Uh, I forgot about restocking. Okay, so. There was one that gave CP, wasn't it? Wasn't there? No? Oh. Okay, I need a lot of stuff. No, not this. Oh, it's this one. HP 500, CP 50. I have it in my inventory and I didn't notice. Oh my god, if I if I had it. I had it in my inventory. I had one that gave CP. Or not? What is it? Huh? But it says I have one. To material sandwich, inventory, HP 500, CP 50. Am I blind? I'm blind. I'm blind. Let's see. 
Oh, there it is. There. Yeah, I'm blind. I'm completely blind. And then you're just scrolling too fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep. Fruit Kingdom. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that I need. I don't really see this as being worth it. Pricing, <laughs> yeah. A bit, a bit. I know for sure that there's some kind of exploit. There has to be some kind of exploit to um, uh, to to make money in this game. <laughs> I'm sure there is, but uh, I'm not gonna try to get it to to do it. Oh, oh. Oh. Prevents freeze. Katsu. A soft and fluffy catsuit with a cute little bell cover. Defense 5, speed 5. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Actually, hold on. Items. No, no. Surprise cookie. Oh yeah, there are also... That feels like a quest item, or... I don't know. <laughs> um, the surprise cookie does damage, right? I forgot about that. I wonder if it would be pretty useful. It does... Um, a fixed amount of damage, too. I have to remember that. No, 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 I don't, I don't want 99. <laughs> that seems to be fine. Meatballs. Oh, so spicy, one bite will make you breathe fire. <laughs> strength 600, strength 500. It does seem pretty good actually. As a fi it does a fixed amount of damage. Hmm. 
Okay, should be fine for now. Uh, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> you missed. I'm going into this game, there is no chance of, of not escaping. At least uh, you can always escape. Yeah, you can always escape no matter what, at least. That's cool. Oh, uh, by the way, one of my favorite things in this game, like, probably one of them by far, is a treasure chest dialogue. I will never get over it. I love it so much. Actually, I love the treasure chest dialogue so much that I, <laughs> that I actually take screenshots of every single one and post them in the Trails in the Sky channel on my Discord. On the Discord server. <laughs> I'm not joking. I ran away. Okay. Wait, why did I do this? Z oh, Zerum Powder, nice! You have activated the staring contest! Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. There's also oh, another one of those big ones. Oh. It almost ca caught me. Softening ball. You've already looted this chest. You might have forgotten. You might have forgotten, but don't you... Ah. But don't think you can just come waltzing back and apologize. <laughs> oh. I think that's it. Needs to be every chest, no. Oh no. Okay. And here's the wolf fort. It's really peaceful here. I guess we don't need to worry about Calvard invading us and stealing our puppies or something, huh? <laughs> what? Quite a difference compared to the Hackengate. Of course, unlike my glorious father and Calvard and Libero are easy friends. There are reasons for that, you realize. I imagine our relationship with Calvard, Calvard has something to do with it all. So, something to do with it. Although, Beyond the gate is a mountain pass that would be difficult for a full army to pass through. That's why the gate is so small as well, as I recall. Ah yes, far different from the Haken gate, which faces onto a great open road. I'm still not quite sure about the free-range poultry. Either way, either way though. Anyway, let's start asking around about the earthquake, hmm? We should probably check in with the, gar 
It's the guard commander first. Right. Come here. Give me the, the, the egg again. I'm gonna... Should I put it in, in my curriculum? Um, I'm really good, really skilled at harassing chickens. There you go. Fresh something. I'm really good at harassing chickens until they give me what, what I want. Oh, hey, Bram. Hmm. Uh -huh. Great weather again today, huh? How's your relationship with Faye going? Ah, you're the bracer of the guild called, out, called ahead about, right? Here to investigate the earthquake from what Miss Kilika... Here, here to investigate the, the earthquake from what Miss Kilika said on the phone. Ah, yeah, that's right. Wow, I keep forgetting how um, thorough Kilika is. <laughs> she even keeps us on our very on our toes every now and then. Anyway, we'll do everything we can to help. We appreciate that. Thank you. Let's start with your account of what happened during the earthquake. Then, well, let's see. The earthquake happened three days ago at roughly uh, 5 p.m. The quake itself wasn't all that strong, and it only lasted 10 seconds. Still, though, earthquakes rarely ever happen around here. Some of my men are spooked, let me tell you. Yes, I know I said it's 5 p.m., it says 700 hour 1700 hours. It's, it's 5 p.m. The, per the part that spooked me, though, once I contacted command at Lyson Fortress to report, they told you that no other part of the region had experienced an earthquake, yes? Exactly right, miss. And it wasn't just Leyston, even Sunshine Gate didn't feel anything, and they're practically up to them road. I called in to Zeiss and Elmo and no learned they felt nothing either. It's like Kilika said. Speaking of which, did you hear there was an earthquake in Zeiss today? Yeah, I heard about that. And that's the thing, we didn't feel so much as a wobble here. Localized earthquakes that only strike small, specific areas. Not a, what I would call the most natural thing in the world. Yeah. So that's the earthquake then. Did anything else out of place happen around that time? Was anyone strange seen, for example? Hmm. No, I've heard no meaningful reports from my men. It's possible they saw something so minor they didn't feel the need to report it to me immediately though. Feel free to ask them some questions. Maybe jog their memories a bit. Sure, thanks, sir. Let's go talk to the gate guards. Mm -hmm. I could probably sell this actually, Fiverr. Best. Yeah, I could I can sell this. Three, three days ago. Ah, that, it was pretty scary. It was my first earthquake, so I didn't really understand what was going on. So, are you guys here to investigate the damage it caused or something? No, not quite. Actually, this and that and this and that, and then I ate a, a tomato that was really bitter, and then I'm here, somehow. Hmm, odd events, huh? Really, the oddest thing was the earthquake itself. Well... I'm sure that's true, but I'm asking if there was anything curious aside from the earthquake. Hmm, sorry, there's nothing I really remember. The earthquake was so strong that everything else just flew right out of my head. 
Oh, okay. Guess, there, guess there's not much point in asking anything else. Sorry to bother you. You can get, ba get back to work. Yeah, sorry. If you need anything else though, just say the word. Very well then. Hey, welcome. Welcome to this totally ordinary bar. Um, may I have a moment? Totally ordinary, huh? Sure, what is it? Uh, so we're with the Bracer Guild. We'd like you we'd like you to help with our investigation a little. If you can anyway. No problem. Uh, not like I have any customers anyway. Hmm. Wow, you're humming the music really well. Oh, thank you. So, uh, about the earthquake. Oh, right, um, sorry. I can only remember the earthquake itself. Heck of a surprise that was. When it suddenly hit, I was like, ah! I was shocked. So, I was, so was there nothing that caught your attention before or after the earthquake? Nothing particularly different from the norm, no. I mean, I was in this bar the whole time, so there wouldn't be a, a whole lot that could happen. Uh, yeah, of course. Doesn't seem like there are any leads to follow here. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. No, don't worry about it. Thanks for your cooperation. What, you need something? Yeah, we're with the Bracer Guild. We'd like you to, to help with our investigation. I don't mind, but please keep it short. Ask if, they, if anything is suspicious. Da, 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 da. So did you know if there are any earthquakes, earthquakes you should get down, like, uh, a desk or something? Your English, ma'am, is very weird. Like, you just stumbled all over the, pl the place until you got there. And it's fine, that happens sometimes. Okay. Earthquake? You mean the one three days ago? The day the earthquake happened was just a normal day. If anything suspicious had happened, I'd have reported it long ago. I see. Seems this was a swing and a miss. Is that all you need? Yes, that's plenty. We're sorry to have disturbed you during your job. No problem, we're both on the job after all, aren't we? Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. What about Burnham? Oh. oh. I I did a fake yawn and then I actually yawn for real. <laughs> Uh, sup? Um, we're from the Bracer Guild? I hope we're not disturbing you, but could you answer some questions? Oh, uh, sure. Wake up! Odd things? Hmm. I was, uh, checking the light blocking abilities of my hat when the the quick hit the light blocking abilities of my hat. <laughs> I thought the chief was yelling at me at first. But no, I didn't see anyone around. I mean, I thought it was a break at first, not an earthquake. Wasn't really all that strong. This isn't so much a strange, occur strange occurrence as it is an admission that you're awful at your job. Ah, but to sleep standing? That is a rare skill, Estelle. I, however, can consume an entire full course meal while asleep on a sofa. That's not something to brag about, Lenheim. So, um, was there anything else you can remember? At all? Hmm... Actually, Henning said he saw something weird, but... Something weird? Oh, Henning didn't mention anything. Well, this was the day before the earthquake, mind you. Oh. One of the other guards here, Henning, asked if anyone had passed through the gate. When I told him I hadn't seen anyone, he just shook his head. Well, that's curious. I wonder what that was about. He might be able to tell us something. Let's go talk to Henning again. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hey, need something else? Actually, yeah, we talked to Bram. Oh, not... I said Barnum or Branham or something. That's Bram. 
So you've been hiding some from us. You're the culprit, aren't you? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I am the culprit. That. Yeah, I did ask him that. You asked you asked if someone had passed through the gate? Yeah, let me explain. So four days ago, I just finished my watch and was going off duty. Just as I was leaving though, I saw a weird man coming up the road. A weird man? Was it a man garbed in white with a mask perchance? A mask? No, no, he wasn't that weird. It was a tall guy wearing a black suit. He also had these black glasses on. Black glasses? Those could be sunglasses, right? Yes. Such glasses are fairly rare, so it's very likely the same man. Sunglasses, huh? Anyway, just before I went on break, I saw him coming up the road. Most of the travel travelers who pass by here stop in at the bar. At the bar. So I figured I'd see him inside. I take it he didn't? Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't show. So I asked Bram and he said nobody had passed through. He's a lazy swap, but he ain't but he ain't so bad at his job that he'd just let a stranger pass through without checking. Hmm. Perhaps he had business at your barracks. He may have chosen he, he may have spoken to your commander, for example. See, I was pretty curious at that point and asked the commander. He said nobody had been in there during that time period either. So I have to wonder what happened to that guy I saw. Doesn't seem like he came through. Okay, this is this is really suspicious. We should tell Kilika about this. Yes, this seems like a good lead. Thank you for sharing all this with us, Private Henning. Yeah, hey, my pleasure. I feel better having gotten it all off my chest. All off my chest, eh. Just sometimes you just gotta vent, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Mm Hello again, were my men helpful? Actually, yeah. So Henning saw a suspicious man. Um, wait, actually I have sunglasses on right now. Um, it's not me, okay? It's not me. <laughs> I'm not tall, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very short. I, I'm short. So Henning saw a suspicious man. Hard to think he has something to do with the earthquakes, but he sounds suspicious regardless. I'll report this to command at least, at least. Please do. Alright, I think we're, we've learned all we can here. Let's return to Kilika with what we know. Alright. Oh. Hey, you lot! Good, I made it in time. Huh? What do you mean, sir? Has something happened? I contacted Layson about what we talked about previously and heard something surprising. I figured it was up to me to let you all know. Surprising what now? Surprising what now? Wait, don't tell me. Yeah. There, w there was just an earthquake at the San Sanctum gate. What? Hearing this, Estelle's group rushed to the Sanctime gate. Oh. Mm -hmm. What the hell is with you full bracers? Can't you see we're in the middle of cleanup after the earthquake? If you have to nose around, I'd prefer you do it later. I'm afraid this is our job, sir. Clean up or no? You have my word we won't get in the way. May we, we ask a few questions of the gate residents? <laughs> if HQ hadn't ordered it, it, I'd tell you what to clear out. I've got some urgent business to take care of. You can get the details from my second in command, Warrant Officer Talbot. 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 I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Okay, I need to hydrate actually. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. He's in the storage area over there, cleaning up. Okay, we'll talk to him. Thanks. Just make them sure you don't interfere with any actual work going on here. 
No, if you'll excuse me. Whoa, it uh, really is kind of bad in here. Do you think we should help out a little? I mean, just be friendly. Oh, wait, um, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna have to stop for a bit.
Okay. <laughs> sorry for much, so much for the wait. It took a while, I know. I'm sorry. Oh wait, two twenty-three p.m. Oh, there's actually like um, thirty minutes or something. Actually, not that bad, not that much, but still. But still, I'm sorry for the for the sudden pause. But we can we can get right back into it. What the wait? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Okay, it's working. Yeah, it's working fine. It's working fine. Do you think we should help out a little? I mean, just to be friendly. This is a military facility, still. I suggest we simply finish our business and go. There may be secret documents or some such in this mess that the military doesn't want us slowly civilians to see. Oh, yeah, good point, I guess. Still, this is quite a bit more damage than the city of Zeiss earthquake, isn't it? That didn't cause nearly as much of a mess. The ferocity of the quake should be a primary line of inquiry, then. As well as asking about our myst mystery man. Yeah, that guy with us in the sunglasses. Well, first, thing f first things first. Let's talk to that second in command guy. <laughs> Seems like stuff's collapsed all over the guard post. It will be hard to guard anything until we clean this mess up. Uh, no matter how much I clean and clean, it never ends. Uh, I hate it! Oh, this is a disaster! No way I can keep the business open without cleaning up a little first. first. Well, yeah. It brings me great joy to say that no one was injured. Every cloud has a silver lining. That sure was a big earthquake. I haven't felt anything like that in a long time. One way or another, I've got some cleaning up to do. Might as well get started. What a mess, right? The tremors from that wo earthquake were something else. Need assistance? Okay. Ooh, bread. Can I get this bread? Sorry. Crap, this is going to be such a pain to clean up. They will... They will... They will... They will have my hide if it isn't done by nightfall, though. Um, excuse me, uh, sorry to disturb you. Hmm? And you are... <clears throat> Estelle Bright. And company. Ah, I see. Thanks for the concern, even if Dale doesn't share my thanks. So you want to know what the situation was like when the earthquake happened, right? Yes, and please, spare no detail. Understood. The earthquake began at roughly 1300 hours, two hours ago. The earthquake lasted around 40 seconds and was strong enough to knock, the, knock down big, piled up boxes. Wait, so compared to the quake at Ewald Fort... The shaking was stronger. Yes, that's true. It shook for longer too, I think. And then there was the one which welcomed us in Z to Zeiss. That would, I think, fall in between the, the other two. They're getting progressively stronger. Meaning then, 
that the quakes are getting more powerful each time. Exactly. That's uh, kind of bad, isn't it? The situation does seem to be worsening. But these are natural occurrences. I don't see how we could stop them. I don't suppose the Bracer Guild has any ideas. Um, well, we're not really sure yet, but we're uh, pursuing a few leads. Speaking of which, did anything um, weird happen before or after the earthquake? Like, were there any suspicious people walking around? Suspicious people? Hmm. Come to think of it, Chel Chesley mentioned something about a strange man yesterday. He's cleaning the roof if you want to hear the details from him. Chesley on the roof? Very well then. Very well. Thanks for helping us out, sir. Not at all. Good luck. These tremors were incredible! Not that I'm upset, but it's almost strange that nobody was injured. True. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Oh boy, that was scary. I almost fell. That's what you get. <laughs> this guy had climbed the top of the wall when the earthquake hit. He was so shocked by the shaking, he almost fell. Had the earthquake been any stronger, he might have really fallen. At least you're lucky in one way, Anton. Who are you guys? You're Private Chesley, right? We're from the Bracer Guild, Private Chesley. May we ask you, may we ask you a few questions about the earthquake that happened recently? So group Oh right, that guy from yesterday. I don't know if he has anything to do with the with the earthquake, but I did see a tall man with black sunglasses around. I knew it. It must be the same man seen at the wolf fort. Sir, did you see what this man was doing? Uh, well, he seemed like kind of a tourist, really. Looked at the scenery for a bit, then came down. He sort of caught my attention since you don't see glasses like this often. But he is often. He didn't say anything to me and walked off, though. I didn't have a chance to talk to him. Uh, okay. Did anyone else see this guy, maybe? You know, that's where it gets weird thinking about it. I brought the guy up at dinner since he was kinda weird, but... Practically nobody else even saw the guy. The only one who remembered seeing him was Tammy, who works in the mess hall. Hmm. Unlike the wolf fort, this guy sees quite a bit of traffic. And yet, despite this, there, were, there are only two witnesses? How wonderfully... Spooky. Spooky or not, it would be a good idea to talk to this Tammy and see what she knows. You said she's in the mess hall, correct? Thanks, Chesley. You were a big help. No problem. And yeah, she should be in the mess hall. Good luck with your investigation. again, thank the goddess. Huh? You're Tammy, yes? We're from the Bracer Guild. Bracer Guild. You mind if we ask you a couple questions? Oh, him, yeah! Oh, wait! Wait, wait. Someone said something. Hey, I made it to, str to stream this time. How are you? Hi, Lemon! How? Oh, it's, been, it's been a while. How are you? I actually just got uh, back from eating lunch, so you, you just you got here really just in time. 
Um, I've been hydrating. Oh, by the way, I have I have to say I'm very disappointed in my own chat. Like no one has redeemed redre ah, no one has redeemed hydrate once in this entire stream. I've been hydrating out of my own free will. Who needs free will anyway? I need to be told. I I need um. I need the redeems to know what I need to do next. Yeah, I read it in chat. That I know what to do. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for the chat. Thank you for the hydrate. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Lemon, since you haven't been here in a while, let me show you the new thing that, that I that I put here. It's really cool, really cute. Look, look at it. Look at this. Look at it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> eh, a penguin. He's so cute. You can send one too if you if you want. It's free. Uh, you have to go to the plugins, by the way. Like, plugin, viewer attack, a penguin? Yeah. Like, uh, go to the viewer attack, the plugin, then click on penguin, which is free, and... Bang! <laughs> <laughs> so cute. He cute. He's very cute. Very, very cute. I love him. <laughs> okay, the chat on, on Twitch, on Twitch mobile is broken. Oh, hey there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, freaking cute. I love him. <laughs> That is cute as hell. I know, right? I know. <laughs> I love it. You can send more stuff, but uh, it requires bits, unfortunately, so... Pay up! <laughs> nah, no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. <clears throat> uh, actually, hold on. I have quite a few... I have a joke one that's like, uh, I think 10,000 bits or something. I don't, uh, I'm not expecting anyone ever to, to get that one. It's just a joke. <laughs> um, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's see if I can, where are the, where are the plugins on Twitch? I've, Forgot. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember where to access the plugins on on Twitch. <laughs> oh well. I'm I'm trying to check everything and I I'm just not seeing it. Oh well. Anyway, let's continue. Continue onwards to victory. Or um, to investigate an earthquake. That's that works out as well, right? That works. Plugins seem complicated. Uh yeah, yeah, a little bit. You can, they can be pretty complicated. Um, but there are also, like, uh, bots. Uh, for example, uh, imagine this. The headpad one. Can you hear the, the little sound that it makes? That's also a plugin. <laughs> okay. Hey, bang. Or, uh, right. For example, check your posture. Watch your posture. Keep those glutes tucked in. That's, that's also part of the plugin. Oh, yeah. hit hit pit.
Do you want to see the, the mother of all headpats? Lemon, you are not. Lemon, you are not ready. Look at this. Look at this. It's glorious. So many headpats. <laughs> With just one head. Now I am scared. <laughs> no, just. With just one. Just one redeem, you can headpat like five. <laughs> This is peak. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I passed by him on the second floor in the hallway yesterday. I think he was coming down from the roof. That would match what our soldier friend said, yes. Did you exchange any words when you passed? Well, I did say hello. He just kinda grinned in response and said, yo. What? Oh, just thinking about it makes me all tingle again. He, he was so wild. Chernobyl giant headpats, you and your friends. <laughs> Chernobyl giant. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm starting to get the picture of him. Do you remember what he was wearing? He had this dark suit, but opened really casually at the chest, right? He looked amazing in it. Oh, and he was wearing a pair of black gloves, I think. So, sunglasses, a dark suit, and black gloves. Right. This guy might as well wear a sign on his head, on his head saying, I am sinister. Be suspicious of my evil ways. <laughs> oh, I love it still. Oh, I wouldn't say suspicious. He just had a sense of danger about him. He, you know, that dangerous tough guy charm, right? Uh, right. Anyway, so he just passed by and said hi, and didn't see him afterward, right? Yeah, unfortunately. I um, chased after him a little bit. I thought we could um, um, get to know each other, or... Anyway, I lost track of him in a weird way. A weird way? How so? Hmm. It'll be easier to show you. Follow me. Excuse me, Sanders. Can I step out for a moment? Yeah, go ahead. Just get back before the dinner rush. So this is where I passed him, right here. He went walking in this direction. I turned to follow him for after a moment, figuring out chat with him, right? Okay. Why aren't we following her? See, okay. We are. What kind of smell of danger? Like, I will stab you for 50 cents danger? Or, I think ice in a deep fryer would be a funny joke danger. <laughs> well, it, actually, lemon, I think it might be... Let's put a fork inside a microwave and then turn the microwave on kind of danger. That might be it. When I turned, I saw that door over there, closing. So I thought, he must have stepped out. Here's my chance to talk to him before he leaves. So I followed him, but... Magic fork is danger? Sadness. Oh. Don't worry, Lemon. I too was... Uh, was disappointed to find out. By the time I screwed up my courage and came out, he was nowhere to be seen. It's the forbidden uh, <laughs> a fork incantation. The forbidden bomb. In other words, I lost him, but I lost him here. Lost? But wait a sec. How is that possible? This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, and there's no way he could have jumped down from this height, right? Unless he's super edgy. And yeah, he, re he wears all black, so... And he says, yo. <laughs> I figured I made a mistake and thought he went elsewhere. I looked all over thank time for him, but I never saw him. Kinda makes me want to jump off the end there. I missed my chance. Oh, you poor kitten. If it would please you, I could help you forget such a lesser man. Knock it off. No one deserves that kind of trauma. <laughs> I think we have a fairly good idea of what happened now. Nothing is impossible with my edge. <laughs> and I'm 
pam 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 Oh, actually, Lemon, um, speaking of Edge, um, the villain group in this game, uh, called Ouroboros, has, like, code names for each member, right? And one of them, who was, who was a boss in the first game and was super hard, you could actually lose and continue the story because he was just that hard. Um, his code name is Blade Lord. Can you imagine that? His real name is Low, and his nick, his code name, is Blade Lord. I love it. <laughs> you were a big help. Thank you again. Blade Lord, Blade Lord, a oh, Blade Lord. Wait, my accent is getting in the way. Hold on. Blade Lord, Blade Lord, my dear. <laughs> Bowers? It's a Kera. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I. I... Fucking Portuguese for a second. Whatever. Uh, you're welcome. So, um, is he some kind of wanted man? A super skilled, cold blooded assassin on the run from the Bracer Guild? I uh, don't know about that, but he's definitely a dangerous guy. Would be funny if he was named Blade Vor and he just nuked swords at you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, that would be something. Not the weirdest thing I'm, I've seen in a JRPG, that's for sure. I've seen weirder stuff. Weirder stuff. I have. Look, if you see him again, don't go near him, okay? Trust me. But he's so cool! Ah. Uh, oh well. Anyway, I've got some things to prepare, so excuse me. Keep up the good work, everyone. There's no way he could have jumped down from this height. Uh, there's no way he could have jumped down from this height. Huh. Estelle, does that remind you of anyone? Low. Or rather, as we know him, as the characters know him, Lawrence. Oh yeah, definitely not the weirdest thing. <laughs> yeah. Lawrence, that guy. That white-haired guy, that... That silver-haired monster who jumped off the top of Grenfell Castle. The man we know as Lawrence. If the other ones are like him, I think they could jump from here and survive. Yes. I think it's safe to assume we know who our, who our wild sunglasses man is. Another enforcer of Ouroboros, just like the Phantom Thief then. I feel pretty confident saying that at this point, yes. I also feel confident saying we're done investigating. Let's return to the guild house. Dun, 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 dun. What? Wrong way? Oh, it's all cleaned up now. Oh, welcome. Cleaning's pretty much done, so it's time to open for business. If you'd like, rest here before you go. Yeah, how much does it cost? 200, of course. It's also 200. Dun -dun. Seem seems we've managed to clean, up, to clean up somehow. Still, I am so unbelievably hot. Apparently, vestments are not well suited to exercise. <laughs> I don't know why that just sounded... That came off a little weird to me. Oh, did you still need something? I'm quite busy. I'm quite busy. Don't get in the way, please. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Bum, bum, bum. Nothing here, right? Dun, 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 dun. 
pum, pum. Oh! <laughs> the birthday celebration comes and all I have to show is a broken heart. Then an earthquake comes and all I get is nearly dying. How pitiful. I haven't even the will to stand up. Ah, oh, Ricky, help me. Help me. No, not help me, tell me. What on earth is the meaning of my existence? Oof. Anton, it's pretty clear what your ray raison d'être is right now. What? Okay, that's definitely uh, French, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Yes, you are a roadblock. Sorry, I know we're making it hard to use the road. So, to spontaneous spontaneously embark on little soul searching trips is my friend's bad habit, I'm afraid. Don't worry, he'll eventually get bored and recover. French people are on their way of ruining a conversation. <laughs> uh, je ne parle pas français. I'm sorry. Ugh, took ages, but I finally finished cleaning. Earthquakes are pretty rare, apparently, so I hope we don't get another one. I know a little bit of French. Like, just a tiny bit. But I will never like French. I'm fine with French people, I don't care. Whatever. Um, but French language, oh my god. One of the worst of the worst. I... <laughs> I have a vendetta against the French language. Ah, finally finished cleaning. Now then, time to go check up on the other sections. <laughs> Phew, finally done. We cleaned up faster than expected since everyone helped out. Since the priests come all the way from the capital, I should probably go to service. <laughs> finally finished cleaning up. All thanks to the priest for helping out. Talk about holy intervention. <laughs> <sighs> Such a pity. He was really cool. But if he's a wanted person... Oh, well. Give up and find an even better man, I say. I may fall for guys easy, but I also give up easy. <laughs> if I didn't, I could hardly enjoy love as much as I do. Uh, I guess? Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Wait. Fresh eggs, skiggle salt, black pepper, red pepper, bird egg. Is buying a passion omelette? Wait. Is buying a passion omelette cheaper than making it? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. What? <laughs> hey, done talking? If you are, go ahead and take a break here if you'd like. It was really shaking a bit ago. It's been a while since I feared for my life like that. Hmm. Hmm? I have a lot of bad experience with French and France itself. I had like quarter year of French in school because it was one of four subjects we could choose the next year and we had to like test all of them. Our teacher was a bit crazy. First thing we had to do every lesson was to make sure the desks are symmetrical to the wall and stuff. What? <laughs> That's weird. Um, I had French in school for three years. Uh, not out of my own free will. <laughs> it was mandatory. Uh, technically, we we were supposed to to choose between a Spanish or French, but we had no Spanish teachers, so we just uh, so we just went with the French one by default. Um, my French teacher was actually pretty awesome. Honestly, my French teacher was really cool. I, I liked her a lot. She's awesome. And that's, it's probably because of her that I got really good grades in French, even though I wasn't able to understand much. 
well, at the time I knew better. I knew French better. Now, without much practice, then I don't know as much, but still. But that's still so weird. Like, every. At the start of every lesson, you had to make sure the desks were symmetrical to the wall and stuff? Did that teacher have OCD or something? Like, very, a very extreme case of OCD? I don't know. It's, it's really weird. Right, written highway. First thing was rearranging desks. That's so weird. Just why? I I don't know. I don't, I, I won't question it. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't have all that many bad teachers. Actually, most most teachers I had were actually pretty good. Uh, but there was one that just hated me for some reason. I I have no idea why. But she just despised me. She would do everything in her power to to make myself miserable, to make me miserable. Like there, w she was basically like the. Uh, the arts and crafts teacher. Uh, we we had that, except it wasn't exactly called arts and crafts, but but it was. And that teacher, I swear, I I swear to this day, I swear that she stole some of my stuff, so I just couldn't do anything. And then of course she would always say, "Oh, but I already gave you gave you this stuff once. I won't give you again. You have to be more responsible." But the things were there. And they were locked, and they were locked behind a, a closet. And the teacher and the cleaning, uh, and the cleaning staff were the only ones that had the, the key to that closet. And I doubt the the cleaning staff did anything. I I will forever despise that teacher. I don't know what she had against me, but she would do everything in her power. There was even one time that um, we were supposed to, to paint, like, to paint uh, glass, glass panels. It was actually really cool, we were painting glass panels, and my, my teacher just gave me, gave me, um, gave the entire class just a tiny bit of, of paint. She gave almost nothing, but we, we had to share between the entire class, and there was... And actually that teacher put me away in, uh, in a desk that was far away from everyone else. For some reason. And then, like, I guess out of pity, in quotes, she gave me the black one, the, the black uh, ink, and <laughs> here's the thing. She gave me the, the ink with the lid half open so when I when I took it off her hand it fell down it hit the floor and there was black ink everywhere and of, and then she and then she put the guilt on me she gave me that black ink with the lid half open and of course in my innocence I guess I trusted it I didn't know it was it was half open. Oh, and by the way, that little ink thing is super small. It wasn't like a glass or super big, it was something that was super small. And my teacher gave it to me in a way that I couldn't I couldn't pick it up in any other way aside from the lid. It was 100% on purpose. She would all, also sometimes uh, just call me annoying. Like, right in class. Right. She was just straight up talk, call me annoying, even though I did nothing. Like, I was the more quieter kid. But that is really stupid. I know. It was so stupid. It made no sense at all. I freaking I hated her throughout the, the whole the whole year I had with her. I hated her. But every other teacher was awesome at least. 
Oh wait, no, 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 wait, no. There was a teacher actually in in the fifth year, in the fifth school year. I had a math teacher who, in the beginning, didn't know the name of anyone in the class, right? Actually, the only one that she was able to um, to memorize, the only name that she was able to memorize was mine. See? Okay. Okay. Now. What do you do uh, when you see a few students misbehaving? What do you do? What, what, you would call out to them and, and, and tell them to behave, right? Well, here's the thing. For that math teacher, that's not how it works. For her, since she didn't know the names of those, of those people, she would just turn to me, who, me who was on the other side of the classroom, and just blame me because she didn't want to be embarrassed by the fact that she didn't know their names yet. Can you imagine something that stupid? <laughs> That's... I can't even be mad at that, just hilariously stupid. That stopped after about a month. Uh, about a month later she was able to finally remember every everyone's name and that never happened again. But it was beyond just beyond ridiculous just wow <laughs> it makes no sense at all that is really dumb I, yeah I don't I do not understand it myself I really really don't understand it myself and probably never will but anyway at least there were like most other teachers were good at least <laughs> there was actually one teacher in particular who favored me above everyone else because because I was literally the only one who would actually behave. I would do the bare minimum of behaving. Uh, be, ah, I would do the bare minimum of behaving myself, and everyone else would always would always get mad at her because like they were. They would always call it favoritism, but no, everyone else in the class was also was always misbehaving, always like yelling and talking. And so, of course, what do you think will happen? The teacher will like the the, the one student that's actually behaving. What do you think will happen? Seriously. Dun, dun, bang. I didn't even do anything special. I wasn't like a teacher's pet or anything. And when the teacher was like, for example, would forget the homework, I wouldn't say anything, because... Hell no, I don't... I don't want to... I forgot to do the homework too, right? I don't want the, te the teacher to find out. <laughs> but... I wasn't like a teacher's pet or anything, I was just... I would just use some common sense, that's it. <laughs> it's not that difficult. <laughs> oh yeah, no one should remind the teacher about homework. Oh, absolutely, no, never, never. Absolutely never. Don't do that. <laughs> Tita, Professor, what are you doing here? Oh, Estelle, hi! Ha! Ah, perfect timing! Uh... <clears throat> Arts and crafts teachers are really mean sometimes. A friend once told me a story about a teacher I had too. He would always ask her help, ask her to help her with a drawing he didn't understand. She drew a piece of it and told him to continue. He did that every class until she painted the, the, the entire picture for him, and in the end he got a 4, like a D, and because she said it looked bad. Wait, what? Wait, I have. Hold on. The teacher drew it herself and probably didn't even realize that she drew it drew it herself like entirely. And it called it bad? Huh? I I'm confused. <laughs> Estou confuso. Yeah, she drew it step for step every class and didn't know it and she hated it. What? How did she not know it? 
The... Did she have amnesia every time she walked in class? Walked into class? What? How did that happen even? <laughs> That's so weird. Actually, hold on. Oh wait, no, no. Um, the class that I had before wasn't exactly arts and crafts. It was more like just crafts. And then, although it did also include the the painting on the glass panel, which was really cool, to be fair. But there was there was also another class that was all about arts, like just drawing. And that teacher, that arts teacher, was actually just amazing. Like, it was the embodiment of peace. Like, a peaceful soul. That teacher was just... Uh, world Peace Incarnate. I love that teacher. She was awesome. We're done investigating the earthquakes. Earthquakes, but... Uh... What are those machines there? <laughs> Good of you to ask, my dear. These are the little things I promised you earlier. We can get to that in a moment. First, you did, I assume, investigate the Sanctime Gate earthquake? I'd like to hear what you discovered both there and at Wolfport. Right, okay, so... So, bam, bam! Pfft. Sunglasses, <laughs> edge lord, and that's some that, that about sums it up. Hmm. So the earth, so the earthquakes grow stronger with each occurrence, eh? Hmm? That teacher from that story was so spaced out, by the way. At one point in time, some of the meaner students started to literally throw stuff at her, and she just turned around and looked at it like, "Where did that come from?" And it continued like it didn't happen. Sunglasses, yeah, Edge Lord. <laughs> but but seriously, what? How is it possible to be that much of a hair of an airhead and be a teacher as well? What? I'll be completely honest with you, Lyman. I'm I'm flabbergasted. I'm shook. How? <laughs> Just how? <clears throat> Yeah, we don't know either. <laughs> this is quite serious. Assuming the rate of growth you describe is constant. Yeah. One even stronger than the Sanctime one hitting the city would be really, really bad. And the men in sunglasses are seen at all three locations. I would say it is all but certain that man is an agent of Ouroboros. Given that, I think helping Professor Russell with his experiment is in our best in interest. Ah, I see. She just existed. <laughs> okay. Those devices the professor brought will let us fight back with the power of science, hmm? Precisely so. These are septium vein measuring instruments I developed years ago. When placed properly on the ground, they can monitor the flow of a septium vein in real time. Septium... Uh, I know I always ask these questions, but... um. What's a septium vein? They're huge veins of septium ore that run deep beneath the surface of the earth. The energy flowing along them slowly moves the surface. Surface. In the past they were referred to as both earth veins and spirit veins. And I believe in the east they are called the dragon veins? Very knowledgeable, just so. The people's of the East have built their greatest cities on places where dragon veins converged since time immemorial. I really have to get around to play the Trails games sometimes. Sometime. I don't know a lot about them, but they always look really nice when I see them. I really like the sprites and everything. Oh, I 100% I recommend checking it out. I'm playing for the first time myself, actually. I, I'm. This is the second game. Trails in the Sky was... Amazing, just so good. The writing and the characters are top-notch, the music is also great. The gameplay is very different from the usual JRPG stuff. It's really cool, but it's really well made. 
and now I'm in the sequel. It's a direct sequel, actually. Like, Trills in the Sky SC. SC stands for second chapter, by the way. Um, and it just continues to be so good. I love this so much. <laughs> oh, okay then. I learned something. <laughs> I learned something. Honestly, I'll be completely honest with you, Lemon. If the Trails games continue with this level of quality, like throughout, Trails will be my favorite game series. Simply put, like, I can't... I have no doubt in my mind that if they continue with, with such a high level of quality that they've shown so far, they will be my favorite. Absolutely. No, I'm afraid not. This will only... This will only monitor the flows passively. Oh, and by the way, Lemon, do the side quests. Seriously, I... I really recommend doing the side quests. It's... And talking to the NPCs as well, it's worth it. To me, anyway, it was worth it. I really liked it. However, one leading theory is that earthquakes are caused in part by septium vein flows bending the earth. If we monitor the veins, there veins, therefore, we may be able, oh, sorry, to discover, to discover something about what's causing these blasted quakes. I see. That means we need to make sure to set this up before another earthquake occurs. Given that you brought these devices, I take it you have three spots in mind, professor? I do. Take a look at the map. So I need you kids to set this up in three locations in this region. Firstly, on the northern track plains where the stone circle is specific specifically. Okay. Easy to get to. Next, smack dab in the middle of the Caldea tunnel. From here it's near the first the first bridge. Okay. Damn, high praise. Now I really have to check it out. I will have more time after the 13th, so I will give it a try then, maybe. <clears throat> uh, I just hope I'm not uh, making your expectations go super sky high, and then you get disappointed with su super high expectations, because honestly, I'm really enjoying this. I had no expectations at all. All I had was a, a friend of mine who, uh, who recommended it to me and said he it was really good, and so... And so I bought it on sale. Uh, it's on Steam, by the way. Uh, I bought it on, on a Steam sale and played it. And I really enjoyed it. The first game is more character driven, actually, and more about the country. It's very slow paced, by the way. S some people call it a very slow burn and some people apparently even uh, stop playing the game and just give up before uh, finishing. But uh, I think it's really worth it. For me, I was already hooked by the prologue, even though I I took a massive break. Like, I took a massive break of two years. See? <laughs> I, I played the game for the first time, and then only about two years later did I continue. But even that first time, I, I finished the prologue, and I was already in love. The... You could tell even in the prologue that um, that's very well written. And that the characters are pretty good. Western Fortress. Here, here and here. That's where I need you to place the devices. Okay, I've got all, all that down. So do we just need to set them on the ground? I'm afraid it isn't quite that easy. You'll need to insert the sensor needle into the ground at the right angle, and also tune the antenna. An antenna? A transmission device, you mean? So these devices will transmit the information gathered to another location? Ha! You're sharp! The antenna will send the data to our calculating orbit, the capo, so we can easily analyze the septium vein's movements. With the capo, we can monitor all three locations at once. Uh, that sounds pretty cool, I guess. Will you be coming with us to help set this, uh, this stuff up, Professor? No, I need to prepare the capo for all this. Tita knows what to do. She can go with you. Ah! Tita! Hee <laughs> hee! I get to work with Estelle again! Hey! 
All right, it is worth her waiting Mira anyway. You don't mind, right, Skyra? Not at all. Hey, Tita, she's so cute. Welcome aboard, Tita. Thanks, Miss Skyra. Well then, I need to start tuning, tuning the capo. Once you've placed all the measure, measuring instruments, head to the operations room in the central factory. Will do. Work hard, Grandpa. Dun, 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 dun. I love Tita, she's so cute. So we need to get all this set up before the before the next earthquake. Let's get to it. Ah, before that, coordinating a group this large would be a little difficult. We should leave someone here in reserve while the rest of us handle the mission. No! Their combat party may only be made up of four people. From here on out, when the time comes to form a party, you may choose members aside from any story mandated members. Oh! Why are the sprites suddenly super high quality? I, I don't think I've ever seen the sprites this high quality before, what? Okay, so... Oh, Tita has to be there. Okay, I guess I'll just go with... Great. Yeah, uh, Chloe is a healer, so might as well. Hmm, well then, I shall... I shall while away my time up upstairs. Should you require a genius's help, you need but say the word. <laughs> On the second floor, by speaking with them, you may swap them out with any party members who aren't ma mandatory. This should be okay then. Let's see. So we need to set up instruments in the tunnel, on the north plains, and in front of Leiston Fortress. Or may maybe it's pronounced Leiston Fortress actually. <laughs> Is there any or order we should ta tackle them in? Uh, should tackle that in? I shall leave that to your judgement. I will, however, contact Leiston ahead of you. If we explain our circumstances, I cannot imagine they will take issue with our gathering data in front of their gate. Good idea. Away we go then. Tita, sweetie, we're counting on you. I'll do my best. Jesus, I'll kill. Okay, any new side quests? Of course. Part search. Some ornament parts have gone missing in the central factory. Recruiting persons to help search. For details, visit Eric at the central factory, first floor. Recently, we've had rumors of a peeping tom around the open baths at the Elmo Hot Springs. I'd like someone to come to Elmo when they have some time. The, the open baths are mixed. They're like... Anyone can come in. Like... They're mixed, right? They're only not just... There isn't like a section for women and another section for men. They're, they're mixed. Why do you... Why does someone need to be a peeping tom? You can literally just go there. A dangerous monster, Yaka, has been sighted on the trap planes. Bracer is affiliated with this branch. Monster specializing in blood sucking attacks has high recovery abilities. Okay. A dangerous monster, Bloody Saber, has been sighted on the Soldat Army Road. Will roar before dying, and that roar invigorates its allies. Hmm. Okay. Let's do the, um, the factory one first. It's right here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Actually, just before that, let's go to the Caldia Tunnel. I just set this up first. <laughs> oh, and before that, let's see. Do you have new dialogue? Oh, hey, you guys. The guild sign thing was sure was a shock. We really appreciate the help, Faye. We basically found it thanks to you. <laughs> it was nothing. But man, what kind of weirdo thief steals a sign? Think you can catch the culprit? It might be difficult right now, but we'll catch him someday. Yeah, that's the spirit. We'll be counting on you after all. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. Well then, good luck with your work. Yeah, you all too. Uh, this is locked, right? Yeah. Bam bam bam. Bam 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 bam. Bam bam bam. Hey Rudy! 
Faye's smile seems so much brighter since the Queen's birthday celebrations. You don't think she got back together with her old boyfriend, do you? Seriously? You have a crush on her? I didn't even know that. That's new information that you've given me. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, no palms. If there are no palms, then you're not worth my time. No palms. No palms. But... Oh, I have to... Oh, kapan! Oh! Oh, wow! Tita is only level 40. Oh, wow, okay. Let's see. Wait, what? Oh. All quarts okay? Okay, ass bread, yes. Wait, Eagle, I can see enemies from a distance. That's kind of useless here. That's kind of useless in this section, in this here, so. But I can trade it out for anything. Remove quartz. Oh, space quartz only. Hmm. Hold on, let's go back. Let's get back to the factory. Let's get something. Wait, what's this? Okay, no nothing special. <laughs> okay, enjoy the work. Is the bot not working? What happened to the bot? Why didn't the bot do anything? What? What's going on? Just weird. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this. Nightbot. Bot dead. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. That's weird. Oh wait, I put work. Um, uh, sorry everyone. I'm gonna work. <laughs> okay. Seriously though, what? Why isn't the bot working? What happened? What happened? That is so weird. Just... Yeah, I guess the bot just isn't working today for some reason. Uh. The, the bot deaded. She already has an EP cut. 
Okay. I just wasted <laughs> some stuff, but okay. get a nerf guard and you get a nerf guard Let's go. Should be good. He said just writing the first bridge or something. So, to be close. Tita is getting a lot of experience. Mother. Yeah, it will be worth it to actually fight these enemies. should be here let's see this is the place we're after the first bridge in the caldea tunnel right uh-huh we just need to set up on either side of the bridge i think um there's a normal charging device over here so this is a bad spot which means that other way why are you going alone okay 
Okay, and point the antenna down the tunnel just so. Yeah, this should be okay. It's still, putting the device here should work. Should I set it, set it up? Um, yeah. Why, why wouldn't we? Okay, I'll start setting it up. Give me just a minute. All done. Whoa, so this is what it looks like when it's all together. Wow. What's um, this dish-like thing? Oh, that's like a kind of antenna for broadcasting orbital waves called a parabolic antenna. It puts out really powerful orbital waves that can cover really long distances. It can even broadcast from inside a place like the Caldea Tunnel. Um, Kita? I've heard that orbital waves weaken as they pass through obstacles. Are we really going to be able to get a signal out of the tunnel? Hello. Hi, Crimson! How, how are you feeling? I know you haven't been feeling all that well. Um, I hope you're feeling good, at least. Better now. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks. Yeah, welcome. Oh, by the way, Crimson. Uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but here's Tita, the most adorable, precious little marshmallow ever. Or at least in this game. In this game, the the, the most precious little marshmallow in this game. Yes, yes, she's so cute. Oh, um, according to Grandpa, the antenna can direct orbital waves. So even, even if you're in a cave, you can reflect it down the tunnel and bounce it off the walls until it reaches the exit. I see, my goodness, she's a cinnamon roll. She's so cute, I remember her. So cute. <laughs> I see, my goodness. Professor Russell really is as much of a genius as he's ever been. I guess I'm too much of a country go girl to appreciate how incredible it is. This thing will transmit the earthquake info back to us though, right? Um, not yet. A small baby. <laughs> She's so cute. A small baby. I haven't started it up yet. Just need to flip the switch. Also, everyone in the party is like level 52 and she's only level 40. I must protect her. She must be protected. Yay, now it works. Great work, Tita. Although, is it really okay to just leave it here? Won't it get attached, attacked by monsters? Yeah, then it looks easy to break too. Oh, it will be okay. The plot needs it to be okay. When it's powered on, it repels monsters like the street lamps do. Oh. Oh, awesome, awesome. Oh, okay, that works then. Hey, Stale! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait, who's that? Oh! Anyway, it's a Nagate too. Huh? It's still scary, it's been a while. Yeah, it certainly has. You look well. What the heck? You guys got a freaking family going on here at this point. <laughs> going here at this point. <laughs> Why yes, this is Tita, our our adopted daughter. Okay, she's cute. Look at her. Look at her. Whenever you touch her, she she squishes. She squeaks a little bit like a teddy bear. Just look at it. <laughs> just just look at so cute. Even Tita's here. Been a while, short stuff. Oh, short stuff? That's mean. But it has been a while, yeah. What the? She's so cute! Where's this cutie pie? Still, have you been holding out on me in the cute sister department or something? <laughs> you could kind of say that, I guess, yeah. This is Tita, the granddaughter of Professor Russell of Zeiss. That's right. That's right! Cool! I'm Anuis, Anuis Elfie. Nice to meet you, Tita. Um, yeah, nice to meet you too. Oh, and the princess is with you. Is the princess with you? What are you doing with these guys? Uh, please, uh, Gata, call me Chloe. That's not me, it's adorable. <laughs> she ain't adorable. Actually, I've been assisting Estelle ever since we met again in Rowan. Ah, cool. You did seem like the decisive type back in the castle. So what are you two doing out here, Agate? Did you come looking for us? 
Nah, it's just a coincidence. We're in the middle of chasing down some clues about the Sky Bandits and the Intelligence Division. Huh? The Sky Bandits and the Intelli- You mean there are guys from those still on the loose? That's right, there are men from both still on the run from the army. Do you have a lead on, the, on their whereabouts? Well, the guilds have witness, witness calls pouring in. Most of them aren't all that reliable, though. We've been running around trying to find the needles in the haystack. More importantly, I heard, you guys encountered one of the one of Ouroboros' henchmen in Juan, right? Yeah, a weirdo in an opera suit calling himself the Phantom Thief. His questionable fashion sense aside, his power was... Frankly, terrifying. If we tried to engage him directly, I'm not sure it would have gone well for us. Whoa, that's the first time I've ever heard Scarra talk about someone like that. Ouroboros really is dangerous in that case. More like a total friggin' question mark at this point. Anyway, remember, you need our help. You need our help? Just say the word. The Gido will be able to reach us easy. Yeah, we'll do that. Ditto for you. Gate, if anything happens, get in touch with us. We'll be there in an instant. Huh, <laughs> I think I'll be, we'll be okay. But I'll hold you to that if it comes down to it. Anyway, this ain't the best spot for a leisurely chat, chat, you know? We ought to get moving. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Um, Gate? Hmm? Short stuff? Um, well... No, sorry, it's nothing. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, give my best to Russell, will ya? And don't spend too much time messing with machines, okay? Make sure to find some time to be a kid. Hehe, <laughs> okay. But I gotta be careful, okay? You always do really dangerous things because you're so stubborn. Wrong button. <clears throat> well, you've gotten good at giving it back, short stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. I gotta... I gotta start growing up sometime, right? <laughs> I gotta can to lift a finger against the Tita, huh? Well, see you guys. You're so cute. Still, Tita, let's hang out when we get together next. You bet. Uh, okay. I'm going in that direction. I will be going in that direction. <laughs> Man, I didn't expect to meet those two. Kind of looks like they're okay, though. They sure haven't changed too much. I gotta admit, I'm having trouble imagining what their travels together are like, though. Anyways has a very straightforward, open personality. She actually makes a good contrast for to Agate's quiet, moody determination. Tita? Huh? What? Who? Estelle? What's up? You're kind of spacing out. Um, uh, was I? <clears throat> I was just uh, surprised, is all. Surprised? At what? Um, well, uh, uh, didn't know I got they had a girlfriend. You mean anyways? <laughs> no way. They're just partners on the job, Tita. What? You see, Tita, we split into teams to investigate the society in, in multiple parts of Libero at once. She's watching his back, not whispering sweet nothings into his ear. Huh, <laughs> that is a concept. O oh, I get it. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Funny. Oh, I bet it isn't for you, Tita. Still, though, remnants of the bandits and the intelligence goons. Both groups do seem to be involved in the, with the society in some way. With a bit of luck. Agata and Anuais should find us some useful clues. We better do our best too. Anyway, right here is fine, right? It should be. Let's go set up the other two instruments. Right. Actually, I will be going that way. The baby has a crush, so cute! <laughs> I know, right? That's what I thought at first too, like... Although... Wait. Wait, hold on, let me... let me go see something real quick. Trails in the sky... SC... Uh, 
Uh... Oh, come on. Okay. Um, Elgate. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. I, I don't know what, how to feel about this. Hold on. Eta. Okay, so um, Tita is 12 years old and Agatha is 24 years old. Like, literally twice her age. I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. Also, the fact that... But she's the one that has the, that has the crush, so I guess it's kind of fine. I don't know. She's a baby. She does not know. She does not understand feelings. It's fine. Ba -da -da. Well, this escalated quickly. Yeah, I was just... I didn't really know how to... Yeah, I, I didn't know how to feel about it, to be honest. So I I quickly went and, and looked up the, the character ages. Like, how old they are. How dare you attack Tita? How dare you? Bum bum ba da da bum 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 ba da 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 Bike. Huh? Maybe he's a puppy crush, like, eventually fades away. Right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know, I can say I've ever had... Uh, oh no, I, I have had... I've had crushes before, yeah. But they were so small, and only... What, lasted, like, a week, at most? I don't know. Everyone has, yeah. I think I've already gotten this chest here. Yeah, I have. Okay, I've already gotten every chest. Because I'm like that. Earthquakes around Zeiss. Earthquakes don't typically happen in Liberal, so it's a little unsettling to hear about multiple ones in a row like that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently there are earthqu earthquakes happening in Zeiss. To be honest, I, I hate earthquakes. I mean, the entire land shakes, right? It's only natural to be freaked out. Yeah, of course. No one will blame me for that. Lately, Mori's been reading the liberal news a lot. Apparently, she's uh, just been looking at the pictures and doesn't read the articles themselves. She's the exact opposite of me and my love of books. She hates the printed word. We read a lot of picture books together when we were... We read a lot of picture books together when we were kids. I wonder at what point it was that we diverged so much. I don't know. The liberal news shots are great. If I could take pictures like that, I'd have no complaints. That reminds me, the liberal news had some shots of this guard post way back. Alright, I'll take enough to not lose to that. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the earthquakes in Zeiss. We're getting rumors even all the way out here. Apparently it was pretty small, but it's kinda creepy. We almost never get earthquakes in the kingdom. <laughs> Seems like the earthquakes in Zeiss are still going on. I guess I should at least clear the glass bottles off the shelves, huh? <laughs> Seems 
seems like the soldiers are all worked up. I wonder if something happened. Ah, I was expecting to see Ayate and Anyways here, but I guess not. Apparently there was an earthquake even at the Sanctime Gate. After the wall fort, this is the second military structure affected. I don't know why, but I've got a bad feeling. After the wall fort, it w after the wall fort, it was the Sanctime Gate, huh? Oh, can't forget Zeiss either. Seems like there was an earthquake there too. <clears throat> okay, that's about all. About all there is to it. Zoom! Bam! 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 Seems you came up short. You missed! Oh no. Okay. At least it got one. <laughs> Wait, what about accessories and stuff? I forgot about accessories. 
Oh! Tita Russell. Oh, new art. New Tita art. Everyone gets new, got new art in the sequel. It's so cute. One more. Oh, 44 at least. Uh, but before we move on, let's go back a bit. Uh, let's get ourselves healed. At least. So I don't have to, uh, to waste resources on healing. So, uh, third was it the first floor or third floor? I'm already, already forgot. Let me check. Yeah, first floor. Oh, who could this be? Oh, hey, Hazel. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're looking as energetic as always. I see. So that's what it was. Huh? What was that? Oh, well, Kyoika said she'd, call she'd called for assistance. She must have meant all of you. 
Oh, probably, yeah. We'll be in Zeiss for a while. We're looking forward to working with you. Yes, as I as am I with you. Well then, good luck on your end. Yeah, you too, Hazel. Welcome to the Central Factory Maintenance Desk. Are you looking for something? Uh, aren't you the one looking for us? Me looking for... Wait... Ah, oh, are you guys racers then? Yes, we saw your request on the board. Ah, oh, thanks for coming. I really am in a bit of a fix. Anyway, do you have time to hear about the problem? Yeah. Yeah, sure. To get right to it, it sounds like you're looking for something. Yes, I'm looking for some small ornament parts. I was going around checking to see if the equipment in here was unharmed. And I guess they all spilled out out of the hole in my pocket while I was moving around. You had a hole in your pocket? Yeah, that to do it. Yeah, it's, it's totally my mistake. I knew it was starting to tear, but well... I was freaking out when the earthquake happened and I, and I just stuffed them in my pocket without thinking. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Be right back. Come on. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah. Okay. All cats are inside the house. All cats are on deck. So they all fell out while you were walking around. I see, I think we get the situation. So the job is to search for, for those parts? Yeah, that's right. But many ornament parts are very small. Searching for them sounds like it could be quite a task. Now that you mention it, that does sound like a pain. Yeah, I think so too. But fear not, I have a secret weapon for you. A secret weapon? Please use this. A metal detector. What's this? Uh, so this is a bit of an oddball metal detector we've invented. This metal detector can pinpoint specific metals. In other words, you can select a specific material to search for. That does sound pretty incredible, but what does it have to do with the job? A lot, of course. I think I, can, I think I get it. 
if we set it to search for just for the kinds of metals we use in the parts? So it will only respond to the parts then? Ah, okay, so that's how it works. Yes, exactly. Get close to something that looks promising, then use the detector. If there are any parts, there should be some kind of response. Yeah, I got it. This machine will be a big help, but, we, but we'd still like to get down the areas we have to search. When you drop the parts, do you remember where you'd been? Hmm, I was in the workshop on the third floor and the lab on the fourth floor. I've already checked the elevator and hallways, so please just focus all your search on those two rooms. The fourth floor, workshop and the lab on the fourth floor, hmm? Alright, understood. I think there should be about eight parts that I lost. If you could find at least half, it would be a big help. Well, we'll do our best. If we find any parts, we'll come back here. Yes, please do. I'll also ask you you to ask you return the detector then. Do you have any other information to share with us? If not, if not, we'll begin searching. Ah yeah, there is one more thing. Give the lab on the fourth floor a real one now, over. I played with Antoine while I was up there for a bit. I'm sure I probably dropped a, a bunch of parts there. Antoine? You mean the cat living in the factory? Yeah, that Antoine. He can be pretty cute, but this time I'm kinda annoyed with him. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to blame him, but I'm sure I lost a lot of parts playing with him. Oh, now I feel kinda bad for Antoine. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, I'm counting on you guys. Roger that, we'll be back when we find something. Hmm. Things... Pretty straightforward, actually. I was... I was dreading having to, to search every nook and cranny in the city, but... Shouldn't be that bad. Doesn't look to be that bad. We're scheduled to load a new model engine onto the Arcel soon. Arcel soon. Yeah. Arcel soon. We gotta have a plan for the swap operation ready before long. That's why I've been stuck here in the central factory lately. I finished pre prepping all parts used in the Arcel job. Now we just have to check them over and load them onto the ship. Alright, Luis. Could you check over the plugs? You designed that area, so it'd be best if you looked over it. Sure thing, got it. I'll go check up on the dock with the maintenance chief. Phew, once we finish the last checks, it will finally be time for the factory ship for to launch. For us to put such an incredible engine in an, inc in an already incredible machine, I have to pinch myself sometimes to make sure I'm not dreaming. It was there, it was there, I saw it. I don't have to go to the to the items menu every single time, do I? Hey everyone, looks like you're busy. On the job again? Man, it must be tough being a bracer. I have to go to the items every single time I, I want to use the, the metal detector. Oh, that sucks. Sounds very nearby.
here. It was in the vicinity. Has to be here then. Somewhere. Ornament parts. Okay, so there were eight of these. Riveting gameplay, I know. Okay. Not gonna lie, this kinda sucks. <laughs> I'm not convinced that I got all of them in that room. But let's move on. What should I have as my next team? I can't just stay helping Ray forever. If I waste too much time, I'll just end up turning into his assistant. Okay. 
Oh, is that it over there? Lucas busy as always? Yep, I'm helping Grandpa out again. Man, Professor Russell sure is blessed to have an assistant like you. Unlike my assistant. Ah, oh, enough complaining. Tita, pardon me, you can go back to work. Okay, bye Ray. I wish I had an adorable assistant like Tita. <laughs> Maybe once I'm done with the greenhouse experiments, I'll set to developing an horrible doll. I'd model it after Tita, of course. Ah, uh, uh, I, I don't know. No, no. That that would be kind of creepy. No. have seven parts. Okay, there's totally another one missing. Over there. Very exciting gameplay. I know, just absolutely incredible. Never before seen. I honestly have no idea. There's not seven, there's eight. Oh yeah, I know. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's one of rooms you are not supposed to be in? Some games do that. Yeah, I thought of that. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, guys. Yes, I'm looking at the at the guide now. I'm not sorry at all.
Wait, I think I already got that one. Yeah, I got that one. Dishonor, dishonor for all your family. <laughs> I'm not sorry. At all. Because this side quest kind of sucks. It, it really does. Got that one. Yeah, I got that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait. Wait. Could it be? Could it bloody be? Were there three on one and five in another? Oh no, I already got that, the one here then. Okay, it's not that one. Oh, whatever. Screw the guide. Screw the guide. Screw. Screw it. There's eight of them. Eight. And yet I've only found seven. Screw the guide. I'm not going to look at it anymore. I'm going to go to the second floor, talk to everyone. I'm not going to search in every single part, of course. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to talk to everyone. There's new, there's new NPC dialogue, after all. That new girl. Apparently she's the granddaughter of some technician who used to be here. In other words, she got hit this job because she had an in. Uh. Ah, it's Tita. Hi, Murio. How's work? Eh, just little jobs. Well, I know I'm a newbie, so I guess that's how it goes. <laughs> Everyone starts with little jobs. But I'm sure you can do it, Muriel. Thanks, Tita. I've got the goal, so I'll hang in there. Good luck. Kick it. Phew, once I'm done with this, I need to head over to the labs. If you want to make a good first impression, you gotta go with a cute smile. Yep. This earthquake was far too odd. Even the researchers can't do much more than hang their heads. I hope Professor Russell's research provides an opening, but... Mm. Sometimes the professor's talents are also a disaster. <laughs> I've already been there, I've been here, and I've already been here, I've already talked to them. <laughs> Oh, wait. Wait. Antoine, the, the cat, of course. Eric said that he was playing with the cat, with Antoine. So why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, will you look at that? Antoine, you sneaky little cat. So you were carrying one of the parts. That one would have been very easy to miss. Come to think of it, Eric said he played with him for a bit. Yeah, yeah, I was just a bit. I was being an idiot. I forgot. Maybe he found the part that carried it back with him. I think so, but for him to bring it with him? Man. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Antoine. We we'll have to take your toy away. We'll get Eric to make it up to you. See you later, Antoine. There was a book in the library that was all about ta cat language. All about cat language. But I can't access the book anymore in this game. It's only in the first. There was a Septian church medicine that saved I, I can't remember. 
It was very interesting, so I tried to analyze it, but I couldn't figure out how it worked in the slightest. Uh, modern med medical science still has a long way to go. Well, anyway, thanks Antoine. Let's check the other floor, though. Sorry, kind of busy right now. If you want to talk, how about later? Okay, Wilman. Oh, how's it going? The placement going well? Couple's in a good mood today. Our preparations are going fine. The couple being... the computer. <laughs> Receive data from external sources and process it in real time. It's not impossible, but it will be pretty tough to coordinate. Anyway, I need to hurry and do, the, do a test. Does the couple say anything new? <laughs> I backed out by accident again. Okay, I've read all this. No new stuff. Let's go back there. <laughs> Cancel the job? No. Talk. Hey everyone, did you find any parts? It's going okay, I guess. For now we'll report what we've got. Wait, did you... Did you really find all 8 parts? Oh, did we get them all? Incredible, I totally given up. Anyway, if you could give me the parts in the detector. Gladly. Phew, thank you so much. I didn't think all the parts would be found. <laughs> Glad we could find them for you. Would this be enough for the job? Yes, of course. I kind of feel bad making you go this far. Oh, right. That reminds me, I have that. Here, please take this. It may not be much, but think of it as a symbol of my sincere and super relief thanks. Receive buzzer. Wow, thank you. Are you sure we can take this? Yes, don't worry about it. You really saved my butt. Anyway, thanks again for today. Thanks to you guys, I should be able to catch up back to catch back up on the work I was doing. That's good, but um you should really fix the hole in your pocket. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably should. Guess I'd better find a sewing kit. Sewing kit. If you need help with that, just contact the guild. We'll arrive anytime. Fred and Needle in head. <laughs> thanks for your thoughtfulness. Anyway, thanks again for today. I hope to see you again. You can leave the Fred and Needle behind, though. Yes, we'll see you then. Well then, later. Okay, buzzer. And that does... Wrong menu? What does that do? Prevents faint and sleep. An automatic alarm that detects unconsciousness in the user and sounds an alert. <laughs> ATS 30? ADF 30. Wow, that's pretty awesome, actually. Yes, I've checked the documents on the stock of ornaments. I'll check out the basement factory as soon as possible. Um, it seems we need permission to peruse the, the area. Hmm, horrible cameras and household, household goods might be the next big thing. The problem is the actual ornaments. Simon, you've got the tally of the stock in the basement factory, right? Need to check them personally. 
Wow. I'm with the liberal news. My name is literally news. We contacted you earlier. Let me get right to the point. Have you determined the source of the earthquakes? No, we still don't know. To be honest, these earthquakes seem to be rather unique. Even we researchers are a bit confused. No, it's certainly an earthquake with no historical precedent. In other words, it's an earthquake that was caused by something completely different than what we've seen in the past. For example, may maybe an unknown volcano is behind the tremors? Wait, actually I forgot to do something. Right here. Is there anyone here? No? Anyone on the roof? Roof? No? Okay. Just checking. Okay, we made the peeping tom and then monster. Okay. Seems to be simple enough, eh? well, except for the monsters, of course. The monsters will be a whole pain, a massive pain. Especially since, yeah, I have Tita here and she's fairly weak as well. I don't know. The owner of this shop is a person named Stain. He's kind of a hardhead, but he's got a real, a real eye for weapons. Anyway, technologically speaking, his critique is precise and detailed, but so sharp that it's kind of cruel. He's reduced a lot of engineers to tears. Wow. I already have the PO7. Oh, Tita! How, how about it? Is my daughter really working? Wait, what? You're her mom? Ah, yeah, it seems like Muriel's working pretty hard, in fact. Oh, wait, no, Muriel. Muriel, right. She's always running around. Huh, that's a surprise. I thought she'd be the laziest worker there. Hmm, <laughs> okay. And finally, a little fire on her, but... I didn't think I'd see the day my daughter would go to work at the central factory. Her motives for joining are suspicious, but right now I just want to see her work hard and make a name for herself. Nice. And also Rooster Ford, uh, hey. I came shopping at my father's request, but... All my father said was to go buy what looks delicious. Don't you think that's a ridiculous order? How the heck am I supposed to know which is the good stuff and what's not? Good point. Oh, hey Tito, welcome! Seems you've got a bunch of people with you. Are they the professor's assistants too? No, not exactly, but they are helping with some research. Are you helping out, Knowles? Yeah, I just finished picking up some stuff that got knocked, knocked over by the earthquake. But if the professor is researching them, then I'm sure these earthquakes will be solved no problem. Hope you got a new invention up your sleeves to deal with these earthquakes. Wishing you luck with it, Tita. See you later. Yeah, see you at Sunday school. Cute. Before we opened, my wife and I fought a bit over, over where to set up the store. But after the central factory got attacked, we spent some time really talking things over. The two of us are really committed to running a store both of us could love. Cute. Hydrate. Oh, Zandy! Hi! Hi, Dandy! How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Because I'm seeing that that's pretty late. Like, 
for me it's 4.30 p.m. which means it's like 11 p.m. for you. 7 hours, oh my gosh, wait really? Oh yeah, I've been streaming for 7 hours and 23 minutes, wow. I didn't even realize. I'm just having a lot of fun. I did. Okay, awesome. Awesome, I hope you've been sleeping well. Okay? Awesome. If you have, then awesome. All good. Tita, let's play pretend quakes. Come on, pretend quakes. Pretend earthquakes? My mom was going away, so I've been busy this morning helping her. Ah, okay. That makes sense. You imitate an earthquake? Yep, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Why wow, quake? What? <sighs> okay. His name is Didi. Qua wow, another one. Uh, I hope it all went well um, over there with your mom, Dandy. Dandy. Dun, 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 dun. She's going to visit her best friend and was very excited. Aw, cute. It's not exactly common knowledge, but actually, even in the Earth, there's power like orbital energy flowing. It's a phenomenon caused by power flowing through veins of septum ore, you see? The scale is absolutely different, but the basic concept is the same as a quartz in, a, in an ornament. Nature truly is a mystery, mysterious thing. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of people in the church now. Guess the earthquake was a shock to everyone. Father Vixen's medicine is very effective. My shoulder pain's gotten a lot better. I should pray with everything I've got today. I've got to ask Ideos to put an end to these earthquakes. Dispensing medicine is an important duty of the church. I'm jealous they have pet bunnies and alpacas. Oh, that's so cool! Pet bunnies and alpacas, that's awesome. <laughs> At first I had some reservations, but I, but now I truly believe he is doing the work of the goddess. Well, if it isn't little Tita, helping the professor again? Ah, yes. I'm just placing a couple instruments. Very good. Be sure you come to Sunday school now. Everyone's more motivated when you're around. Cute. <laughs> yeah, okay. Best of luck to you in your work. Anyone here? No. Dandy, uh, you have probably already know, I already know Tita, but here's Tita. She's adorable. That's all I have to say. That's it, that's all I had to say, she's adorable. Adoptive daughter right now, adoptive sister. We don't get the latest weapons at the weapon shop I run. New models to them means stuff that hasn't been vetted as much as the older stock. You can't really trust it to be reliable. There are all kinds of problems you only really learn about after using something extensively. True. Okay, so uh, let's go to Elmo. Oh wait, wait, before, before that. Ah, Tita, are you helping Russell today? Yeah, pretty much. Is she also a deductible? Yes, absolutely. Tita and Tataru are on an equal playing field. They're both adorable. I'm setting up some newly developed measuring equipment. They have been adopted, by the way. Tita and Tataru, they're, they've, I've, I have adopted them. I'm setting up some newly developed measuring equipment. I see, sounds important. And you're the only one who can keep up with the professor, so I guess there's no stopping you. Hmm. Sounds really hard. I bet my sister could never do it. I'm 120% sure. I was about to say, you're not uh, you're not insulting your sister, who are you? But no, there, there it is. It, only, it just took a bit to come out. Aww, hehe, <laughs> cute. Okay, nothing to inspect with Tita here. 
By the way, I like to point out that Tita has a a bunny, uh, a teddy bunny. Like she is cute, a bunny plushie. Anyway, uh, I think it's over here. Trad points roll, yeah. Was working up to it. I had to keep you guessing when they'll make fun. I have to keep you guessing when they'll make fun? What? I I'm sorry, you lost me, Dandy. Dun dun dun. That character! Bunny! Yeah, but... Huh? Like, yeah, Tita was working up to it. Have to keep you guessing when they'll make fun? I... I'm sorry, I don't understand. He was keeping you guessing about when they would make fun of their sibling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she... She was keeping me guessing when they would make fun of her sibling, yeah. Of her uh, sister. Yeah, got it. Sorry, I just... It took me a bit. It, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to to get it. Oh wow, in just one. I apologize that was confusing, I worded that terribly. No, it's it's okay, it's okay. Why? Why did you go attack Tita out of all of us? I hate it. How dare you? The fighting music is so good. It is. The music in this game, overall, is just so good. Love it. <gasps> yeah! Come on, get it. Come on. Come on. Oh! Don't, don't run away! No! Oh. Bullish! Okay. I can... wait 90s anime. Yeah, I see it. I can see it. Oh. There it is. Oh, they look... They look very creepy. They look very creepy. Wow. Okay, I'll be completely honest. In this situation here, Tita is a liability and a half. I won't lie. I, I won't lie. I'm sorry, Tita. I love you, but you're 100% a, li a liability here. Unless. Wait, wh where is the Chaos Prime? I thought I had Chaos Prime. Oh no. Yeah, no. It's impossible, like this. It's impossible, like this. 
not gonna work. from power out they are used mosquitoes and she said dun, dun, dun. Bum, 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 Kinda wish I could just go to to Olivia, but but I can't. Falcon punch. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Thankfully they are they weren't actually super tough. Well, at least. If they had been super tough each one, if each one had been super tough, then it would have been a massive problem. But it they weren't, they weren't. So all good. Oh no. Nefes is gonna die! Or not! Lucky! I was very lucky! On the tablet making food! Oh nice! Hope the food is good! 
Okay, just get to Elmo Village. Just get to Elmo Village. There we go. What? It is Bullet Barrage! Bang, 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 bang! What? Here we go! Sword Technique! Eight Leaf Blitz! Whoa! <laughs> Kids are going insane! Oh, hello! Now, what's brought you all together today? We're here to stay the night, of course! Yeah, I wish. Keep dreaming, Estelle. Unfortunately, we're here for work today, too. We saw the board. It seems like you've got some kind of problem. The board? Oh, that thing I contacted the guild about, eh? That's the one. Something about the peeping Tom creeping about? Yes, that's right. If you've got a minute, I'd like you to investigate immediately. Do you guys have time right now? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Would you mind if we got right to the explanation? Apparently, someone's been peeping on my guests. <clears throat> Dino Nuggets. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's a recent thing, but I've heard tell from a number of my female guests in particular. I won't stand for it, so I contacted the guild. Ugh, peeping Tom's totally gross. When I find him, I'm gonna rearrange his face with my staff. Have you been able to get any specific details from your guests? It'd be helpful if they've seen the criminal. No, no, nothing that clear. They've been reporting things like that feeling that someone's watching them or strange sounds. But nothing concrete, right? Could it just be a misunderstanding? Hmm, I thought so too at first. But like I said before, I keep getting those same reports again and again. At this point, I can't just toss it aside saying it's a coincidence. That's certainly true, but it's kind of a problem. It's not even clear that this is a case, really. There's no way we can investigate properly without any specifics. Well, if it isn't clear, then we just have to put it to the test. It'd be hard to make an arrest unless we were to catch the perpetrator red-handed, so why not? Test? But what to the test exactly? Isn't it obvious? We'll take a bath ourselves. Oh, yeah. You want us to, b to be wait to lure out the criminal? I don't really mind, I guess, but... I feel like for a certain portion of us, this might be a slight problem. I'm not gonna force anyone. However, I'd appreciate the help. The more enticing a scene we have, the more effective, I'm sure. This is gonna be a fan service. Isn't it? Oh, don't mind me. I'd like to help in any way I can. Don't mind me, I'm just literally the princess of the kingdom. <laughs> I'm your support, so I'd hate to not be of assistance just when I'm needed. <laughs> and neither you are. Thank you for your cooperation. For you're like this, I'm sure we'll catch ourselves a big fish. Yeah, yeah, like... Use the, the freaking princess as a bait. That, that's certainly... <laughs> That will certainly work out. <laughs> you sure seem happy, Tita. Yeah, I'm kinda excited. We haven't had a bath together in a long time and last time was really fun. <laughs> it was fun last time, sure. But um, you do know this is a totally exploitative bait plan, right? Yep. I think Tita's on the right track. Forgetting we're working a case would make it a bit more natural, no? It's just us women, so let's take the chance to let down our hair. What would happen if I had Olivier with me? Oh, I have... Okay, later, after the stream, I'm gonna have to go look, uh, look it up on YouTube and see what would happen if I had Olivier w here with me instead of uh, Chloe. Alright, you wouldn't mind lending us your bath, would you, ma'am? Yeah, use it as you like. I'll reserve it until entirely for you for a bit, so you four go warm yourselves up. Thanks, Miss Mao. Phew, I guess we're really doing this. Well then, if you'll pardon us. Oh, oh no. Miss Mao, could you lend me a towel set? Oh, did you forget yours, Tita? Yeah, I didn't think I'd be taking a bath. Oh, and some shampoo. Shampoo too, please. 
Wow, she doesn't mess around, does she? This will be interesting. And now we just wait, I guess. Oh, it's so relaxing. Yep, outdoor baths are the best. Yes, the wind feels wonderful. <laughs> it truly is paradise. If I just had a drink, it'd be perfect. Hey, Scara, it doesn't me matter much, but... Aren't you gonna let your hair down? Uh, the devs were too lazy to make another sprite for her hair. Mm, I think not. This way I can don my clothes and jump out quickly, no? Okay, yeah, no, that, good point, good point. Okay, I retract what I said. If I wear it down, it'll take time to tie it back up. Oh, good point. Who knows when the criminal might show up after all. But thanks to that criminal, we can all go into the bath together. I know it's a case, but I'm a little thankful. Don't talk about the case out loud. The peeping Tom will be suspicious and won't come in. Come on. I get what you mean. Being together like this really makes it feel like a vacation. Given that we've got four people, will that make this a family trip with parent and child? Parent or child in this group? I guess that would make me Tita's mother? How cruel is Tell? At least to make us four sisters. Oh, well that... <laughs> you know, thinking about it, this is the first time it's just been women. Ah, no, not that we mention it, yeah, Livia is not here today. If he knew he was missing this, I'm sure he'd run all the way back to Erebonia crying his eyes out. <laughs> I could totally picture it. Okay, so this entire scene would be completely different with Olivia around. And the dialogue too. I have to look up the... I have to look it up on YouTube later. I, I really have to. I want to see the differences. Well, let's keep it our little secret. I'd rather not rather not break hearts needlessly. It seems like Olivier really does like these hot springs anyway. He was playing the loot. <laughs> he did play the loot here. What is it, Estelle? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. But since it's come up, I guess, I guess I'll ask. Hmm? Um, Scara, can I ask you a question? Oh, what's this all of a sudden? Um, is there really nothing going on between you and Olivier? Oh! Nothing? You mean like that? Y yeah. You idiot, of course there isn't. He's a drinking partner, that's all. Really? Sometimes the way you two talk feels like you're sharing a secret. It really feels like you understand each other, so yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> badum, badum, badum. Tita is a sucker for romance. Ah, I see. So that's why this came up all of a sudden. Unfortunately, that's a work thing. There are circumstances. Circumstances? Yes, but I'll explain it another time. This isn't the time to get sidetracked on other things. We're here to investigate, so we need to focus on the task at hand and be a bit more aware of our surroundings. Ah, uh, you're dodging the subject! But still, it seems scary, is right. Whoa! Ah! Is a peeping Tom here? Inside the brush on the north side. Understood. The north side brush. It's a monster. It does look like something's there. It's just a sheep. Perhaps it's, a, it's our peeping Tom. But what should we do? Even if we wanted to try to catch him, we can't lay a finger on him from here. Okay, that explains... That explains my... Like, that answers my question. Because this is a mixed bath, like, right? Both men and women can just go here. Together, it's fine, whatever. So, it's a mixed bath. So, I was really wondering, why would there be a peeping Tom in the first place, like, hiding? It wouldn't be... doesn't really make that much sense. But it being a, a monster, like, a sheep monster, that does make it make sense. It does make it make sense. Yeah, someone needs to get out first and go around. Stella and I will go around behind them. Princess, Tita... Draw the enemy's attention. Yes, understood. 
Yes. Well then, let's... Wait, what? What is it? Look, they're gonna run! Hey! Wait! Oh, that... There's a lot more than one. Oh, no, no! Dandy, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the... The penguin, so cute. <coughs> oh, still after them. Got it. Wow, we we got we were able to put our clothes on really quickly. Finally, shown yourselves, huh? Let's get to the punishing, shall we? What? They're already. Why? Why are they shining already? I can't run. She has a. That did nothing. That did nothing. Are you kidding me? Has a creepy smile. Hmm. Good to know. Whoa! What? When did this come out? Uh, I think around 2010 or something on the PSP. Hold on. Uh, I think this originally came out on the PSP, but I don't know when exactly. Guy SC release date. Uh, oh no, 2006. My bad. Not 2010, 2006. So, wow. In two years, this game will be 20 years old. Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay, no worries right now. Very cool. Oh no! Oh wow! It's really strong! We're good to go! This thing is really strong! Wow! Why? <laughs> Having been in spring rolls while my dino nuggets cook. Oh, nice! Oh, there's a, there was a texture fail there. It just attacks everyone! Oh my god. Oh my god. So sorry. It's gonna be one of those ones. Huh, huh, huh. Perk you up. 
They're super weak to fire. Good to know. Already? They give no time. Did they form like Voltron? Yeah. Did that before as well. Let's try that again. Why is it being so slow in killing me now? Oh snap! Oh Pokemon snap! <laughs> Not enough. It's not anywhere near enough. <sighs> that no. I have to be faster somehow. Deep level 600%. Like. Of course it resists.
No, okay, this seems to be going well enough, at least. Of course, we went after Tita. Earth guard for the win. Yes. Well, that takes care oh, of that. Okay, that actually went somewhat well this time around. At least. That's it then. Yes, I believe these subtle things. I never thought they'd combine into one super creepy ship. Even what we did to them, I doubt they'll return. But just to be sure. Next time, my fluffy friends, I'll play with you even harder. Understood? Now go! My, my, so the Peeping Tom turned out to be monsters. We can't be absolutely sure, but it's very likely. We taught them a lesson, so I don't think they'll be back. One or two of those guys, I understand, but don't you think it's a little weird that so many were coming? Hmm, it's very odd indeed. This is the first time we've had such a thing. Something must have happened. Maybe it has something to do with the earthquakes? Earthquakes? Um, well, I mean, sometimes monsters go a bit wild because of earthquakes. Maybe their habitat got messed up after a bad quake or something like that. I see. That's certainly believable. Believable as it is, there's not much we can do about a natural disaster. If they show up again, I'll just have to give the, the guild a ring. Yeah, go for it. I'm always up for a chance to relax in your bath again. Well, if we are... If we were going to come for a bath, I'd prefer to do it on our downtime. <laughs> you guys are welcome in the baths anytime, on the job or no. I owe you for today, if anything comes up, you'll be the first I call. Yeah, later. Bye, Miss Mao. anything better to do so I got a part-time job here cleaning but okay no I've already gotten that already seen that oh hey Pat thank you Dandy Something just ran behind my house in a real hurry. What was that, anyway? Looked like a monster, but maybe I imagined it? Maybe? I thought that since we have Tita here with us, we, she would unlock this. But no. She did not. I think that's it for, let's see, Trat Plains. Yeah, that's it. Keeping Tom, Trat Plains monster. Then Soldat, Army Road monster. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, there's so many. It ran away immediately, so it's not. It is almost leveled up, so... Hans Daniel Nuggets, hey, nice. I can make these. Uh, I can make a lot of these actually. Let's make four of them. Mm -hmm. Ritter Roadway, okay. What the fuck, Yashker? Ah. It changed shapes. There's T-Rex footprints now. Really? That's awesome. Oh, I have my cat here. You're so spoiled. You're so spoiled, hehe, <laughs> so cute. He's on my lap. Oh, he wants kitty, kitten. <laughs> he's a kitty. A kitty is so cute. Precious. He's a, he is precious. You got that right. that army rolls. Um, but let me just check again. Okay, Rui is just the, the monster. This will be painful. What a sweet gato! <laughs> Nice. Even throwing some Portuguese. Oh, a chest! I didn't know. I didn't get the last time. 
This chest is empty, not even half empty, just plain empty. Wow. How could it? Just plain empty? How dare it? How dare? Wow, how dare they? Oh, there it is. Uh, leave alone. Okay. Let's save. How will this go? Okay. A little weak to wind and water. Recovers by draining prey, of course it does. Oh, it has a lot of, of HP. everyone thank you for being here love to have you around oh. here tita have an alcoholic beverage to to wake you up Don't question it. Dandy. It 
covers a lot of damage. Mm. I don't need to do some running around the house, but we'll leave your, your stream up on the tablet. Alrighty, thank you for the work! How am I supposed to get out of this loop? I'm stuck in a loop now. Why did it attack twice? Thank you. 
I'm running out of CP. That one was more annoying than anything. Weston Fortress. I know we were just here to help with the training, but it still makes me feel kind of nostalgic. Oh, dialogue change based on side quests. I always love that. <laughs> I kind of thought that too. It was night when we were here last, so it feels different though. Happier maybe? That's right, you actually broke into Weston to rescue the professor, didn't you? Assailing the unassailable fortress. You don't do things by half measures, Estelle. Um, wait a moment. You actually... I'm... Um, a little amazed you managed to break into the legendary Weston fortress. I'm also not sure how I should be hearing that. 
Let's just say we had a trick up our sleeves and leave it at that. Anyway, let's get this measuring thingy of setup. I think it would be wise to get permission from the gate guard before placing anything in front of the fort. Gilika should have called ahead of us, so I doubt this will take long. Alright then. This is Weston Fortress, the headquarters of the Royal Army. I'm sorry, but civilians are not permitted entry at this time. Oh, come on, you know us. I'll have to ask you to leave the premises at once. Um, but we're from the Bracer Guild. We were here just a moment ago. Just a few hours ago. Oh, right, you folks. Command already passed down the word. You need to place some form... You need to place some form of measuring device near the gate, right? Gilika is quick and thorough, as usual. So, do you mind if we go ahead and place the device? You have permission, so go right ahead. Whatever you want. Well, anywhere except the road itself, if you don't mind. We would prefer to keep that open for vehicle traffic. <coughs> sure, no problem. Okay, let's find a good place. Okay. Alright, Tita, where, where should we put this thing? Hmm, let me think. So, if we're not allowed to put it on the road... There's a light nearby, but it should be far enough away, I think. And Zeiss is in that direction, so the angle... Yup, this will be perfect! I know it's right in front of the sign, but right here is the best spot for it. Should we set it up? Okay, I'll start setting it up. Give me just a minute. All done. Well, flip that switch as hard as you can. Flipping now. Yay, now it works! Good work, sweetie. Well, it looks like you're certainly keeping busy. Huh? Pegate? Oh! Cassius? Dad? Why, Cassius, hello! Hello, Estelle, everyone. It's been a while. I know it's a little late, but good work with your training, Estelle. Hey, good work? You don't know the half of it. What are you doing here anyway, Dad? Haha, <laughs> well, I am a member of the military, just in case you forgot. This is a strategic headquarters for the Royal Army, so most of the army brass, army brass works here. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, now I remember. You've been placed in charge of the army as a whole, correct? Yes, thanks in no small part to Morgan absolutely refusing to let go of the idea. In the end, let's say it came down to a battle of wills and I lost. Thanks to that, I have no... I've not had a moment's rest in days? Weeks? I can't even... track the passage of time anymore. Sorry to hear that, Cassius. Oh, you work like that because you know you enjoy it, Dad. I have to admit, though, seeing you in a uniform again felt weird as heck at first, but... Now that I've gotten used to it, you really look at home in it, Dad. Haha, <laughs> naturally. You realize, of course, that you gaze upon he who was once the great dandy of the royal army. Even Richard wasn't half the lady killer I was, knew it too. I'm sure a mom would be thrilled to hear that, Dad. <laughs> I'm still glad. I thought you were really busy, so I've been a little worried, but it looks like you're okay. I'm surviving, at least. Anyway, Jean passed along the report from the guild. So. They've begun moving already. You found one in for one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we found one. A, full, a foot soldier of Ouroboros. As the report stated, their members are... To be blunt, Cassius, they're absolutely terrifying. Does the military have any contingencies in place to deal with the society? Hmm. Honestly, if I could put together an, an agency to replace the intelligence division, that would help. 
I've only just gotten the regular army and the border garrison welded back together and cohesive though, and that was a challenge. For the moment, we've little choice but to rely on the resources, on the resources of the guild to investigate. I'm hoping you look into these bizarre earthquakes we've been having while you're at it. Understood, sir. So you've re you're relying on me for once, Dad? Don't worry, I'll shower you in filial piety. And success, too. <laughs> First time you've ever said something like that, so You look very good, too. You, you really have become much more of a true bracer. I'm sure Joshua would be impressed as well. Oh, uh... <laughs> I, uh, guess so. General Bright. Seed completely just snapped into existence there. Oh, Major Seed. Oh? It sounds like you've met her re recently. Yes, sir. I w it was during the special training I mentioned. It was a huge success thanks to them. I see. It's good you took the initiative so well in my absence. Now that you're a lieutenant colonel, I'll be expecting even greater things from you, you know? Otherwise, I'll be... I'll never be able to properly retire. Retire. <laughs> well, we can't have you retiring so too early, sir. At least wait until General Morgan has retired first. <sighs> and that'll be when he kills over at his desk, most likely. Anyway, anyway, Lieutenant Colonel, it sounds like you had some business with me. Yes, sir, General Morgan will be arriving earlier than expected. He's due at the landing port within the hour. For the love. That man has exactly zero patience, I swear. As you can see, I have a meeting with some of the brass to attend. I'm sorry we can't talk longer, Estelle. No, it's okay. I'm glad we got the chance to chat, even for a little bit. So am I. Skera, I doubt I need to ask her to ask it of you, but please will continue to watch over the cell. She's a senior bracer now, but she still lacks experience. Don't worry, Cassius, you can count on me. She saves the country and she lacks experience. I see you're keeping up the hard work too, Tita. I imagine she can be a dunderhead of a sister sometimes, but help you still out as best as best you can, okay? <laughs> I will, I promise. Oh, oh, about the analysis of the gospel unit. Grandpa said he found um, an unexpected hint. I think he'll want to talk to you soon. I see. Sounds like we ex sounds like we can expect some headway soon. Give my best to the professor when you see him. I will. And your highness, you have my deepest gratitude for helping my daughter. I'm aware of some of your other concerns, however. I think you should discuss them with a few of the people you know. Not just Her Ma Majesty, but Captain Schwartz and General Morgan as well. They both worry after you. I know. I intend to explain it to everyone soon, and make them understand. This journey is something I need to do in order to find myself. Aha! Aha! I'm sure you will find what you're looking for, Your Highness. Thank you, General Bright. Gives me strength to hear you say that. Well, if you'll pardon me. I won't have time to do much to help you directly, but if you find something too big for the, build, for the guild, contact me anytime. I'll help you as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I'm counting on you if it happens, Dad. Good luck with your work. <laughs> I'll need to keep Morgan off my back. Let's go, Lieutenant Colonel. Sir. They kind of have the same hairstyle, don't they? Kind of look like it. Hmm, looks like that's even busier than I thought. We'll need to do our part as the guild and more, and more. Indeed. Now then, let's find some answers and show Cassius just what we can do. That's two instruments in place either way. Shall we go place the last one? Okay. Dun 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 dun. Zoom! Zoom! Bam 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 bam. Zoom! Bam bam bam. Bam 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 bam. <laughs> I will never get tired of doing that. 
Never. This has to have some some sort of significance. It looks important and very old, of course. That's right. This is where that book from the records room was hidden. Hey! I remember that. The stone circle is still spooky as ever, I see. I read about these pillars once. Apparently they're believed to predate even ancient Zemuria. The Zemurians. The ancient culture that prospered an orbital power and disappeared. The tetracyclic towers and the sealed area beneath Grandsel Castle are both Zemurian, right? So we believe, at least. This little circle certainly doesn't seem similar to those grand places. Grandpa told me once that there's a really strong septum vein running beneath this area. He thought this place might have been important to a religion a really long time ago. Which means it's a good place for examining the flow of a septum vein. I get it. Where should we put the measuring instrument, though? Hmm, let's see. The ground here looks pretty solid, and it's not in the ruins. Direction is good. Still, it will work great right here. Should we set it up? Sh set up the instrument. Okay, I'll start setting it up. Give me just a minute. All done. Well, flip that switch as hard as, hard as you can. Flipping... Uh, oh. Ha! What? What the? We're surrounded. I thought that was supposed to not... They must be attracted to the inactive quartz in the device. No other choice. Fend yourselves. I mean, activate it. Just activate it. It repels monsters if it's activated. Just... Okay. Oh, it cancelled, of course it cancelled. Yeah, I should have thought about it. I should have thought of that. That did nothing! That did nothing, okay. Yep. Yep. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can't be. We try. Yeah, 
Yep, okay. I've out as expected, to be honest. Not much. Oh, sorry. Ah. 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 <laughs> of course. I got the I got the critical there. Oh. That one was annoying as well. Oh boy, I think we got them all. Those were definitely the nastiest, creepy, cheap-like things I've ever fought. Those darn dirty, calculating. Those monsters must be one of the new breeds Elden mentioned. That was scary. Tita, did they hurt you? Yeah, they, she was down. Just let me know if you get even a scratch, I'll be happy to treat you. <laughs> I'm okay, you all protected me. Uh... More importantly, I need to flip the switch.
Yay, now it works! Good work, Tita! Right, right then. That's the last instrument in place. Let's return to the operations room in the, the factory and check in with Professor Russell. Right, fifth ward of the factory. Oh wait, wait. I forgot to go report. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, F plus rank. Except in vain, quarters of pork. Good work, it seems you've successfully accomplished your goals. Okay. Except in vain. Access an accessory. What? No, it's not here. Well, let's... Let's look for it. With no quartz? Oh, yeah. Increases all types of step if dropped by monsters by one or two. Cool. I can put it here? Oh, because it's... Yeah, it's two. Right. Okay, I won't have the EP cut, but... Earth Lens? Okay. Same stuff that I already 
had kind of had before. No earth wall though. Ah, I wanted the earth wall out out of everything else. I wanted the earth wall. the lot here and tell us huh weird How much defense does he still have? 411. Which is way more than everyone else. Three hundred and eighty eight, that's pretty bad. Two percent of users max HP when defeating an enemy. That's not bad. <gasps> Earth wall! 75 EP? Since when was it that much? Wow, okay. Evade one. Titanic Roar creates a powerful localized earthquake. Wow.
Okay, after this, um, we're, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the the, the stream. Let's see. And then we'll raid Natalie. Uh, Natalie. Natalie seems to be the one... Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone else streaming. So we'll raid Natalie. Professor Russell, we're connected to the first unit and are receiving telemetry now. Yes, I see. Good. The connection is perfect. Mm. And even better, it looks like things are rock solid. Secure our connections to the other units, to the other two units at once. Understood, Professor. I think they know we succeeded, or succeeded already. It seems so. Goodness, but this entire room never fails to take my breath away. Oh, hello everyone. Hi, Mr. Murdoch. We've got the measuring devices set up like the Professor asks. Yes, we saw. We've got data pouring in from them already. So the capo is already running? Aye, Professor Runnings... Professor Russell's running some sort of program to sort the data now, in fact. Connections to second and third units stable. Excellent. That's all free then. Now let me see. Good, good, both of them are still as a pawn. And we have links to all three units, excellent. Oh, everyone! Everyone, wasn't expecting you back this quickly. As you can see, thanks to you, we're getting all the data we need. Good work, you four. <laughs> well, really, all we did was carry the instrument bits. Besides, Professor, you're the one doing us a favor. You don't need to thank us. If you want to thank anyone, thank Tita. We couldn't have done this without her. What? No, no, I didn't do anything special. No, no, you did very well. Even the transmitters are perfect. The signal we're receiving is marvelous. <laughs> well, yay! So we're all set up now, right, Grandpa? Can I do anything else to help? No, we're as prepared as we can be, I think. I programmed the couple to begin analysis automatically if a, if a disturbance is detected in the septum veins. Now we just wait for an earthquake again. So we've pretty much hurried up to wait. Oh. I don't know if I can stay calm just waiting for an earthquake to strike his ice again. I know what you mean. What if another earthquake hits the city directly? It's chilling. Do we have a plan in case that happens? We've secured and locked down the, the factory for an earthquake. Even so, if the next earthquake is much stronger, it will be hard on us. At the very least, I can't imagine we'll avoid property damage. Unfortunately, the capital here is the same. Strong enough vibrations could damage it, causing errors and making our experiment fail. So a prayer or free to the goddess won't go amiss, everyone! I thought I was nervous before. <laughs> So even the most advanced technology still needs the blessing of ideos. <laughs> Engineers can be really faithful, you know? I pray to the goddess a lot when I'm working really hard on something. She does have a point. I remember when Professor Russell was developing the first orbital airship. I was going to church three times a day. Could have ha had a little faith in something other than the goddess, Chief Murdoch. Huh. After 39 failed experiments, could you blame me? Yeah, I remember seeing that, 49 field experiments. <laughs> They've always been like this, haven't they? I think they have, yeah. Either way, it seems we have quite a bit of time on our hands. It wouldn't hurt to return to the guild house briefly and report in. Yes, go on ahead. We will contact the guild should anything happen. Oh. Seems like something is happen ra happening right now. What? Eek, an earthquake! Seems we don't have that, mu that much time to kill after all. All three instruments are reporting changes. The septum veins appear to be active. Continue monitoring. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. If the signals are interrupted, report immediately. Yes, sir. Now, let's see. 
data still coming in from all three instruments. Given the direction the seismic waves are headed, the origin, origin point of the tambour coordinates are 1273, 37802. Oh, very interesting. What do you mean? We know where that earthquake's epicenter is. It's Lyson Fortress. What? Dad! What? Are you sure? What the? We're under attack! Calm down, just an earthquake! Hold your line, stay in position! General Cassius, you... Hmm... It seems I was right. Ordering a work stoppage at the port was the right idea. Incredible. I didn't actually think there would be an earthquake as you predicted. Cassius, just what kind of magic did you use? What magic? It's just logic, Morgan. The logic of our foe's desires. After three rehearsals, it was sim simply a question of what made the most tempting target. Chief, we've received word from Lyson Fortress. They've suffered, suffered a fairly large earthquake. We were right. What happened? Is anyone hurt? Thankfully, there don't seem to be any injuries. I think they mentioned they prepared in advance. Thank the goddess. Ha! That's Cassius, alright. The man has the danger sense of a fox. Now then, the capo should have the results for us. Professor Russell? Yeah? So, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. What is it, Professor? Did we learn something? I do believe we have. According to this, the flows along the Semptium veins were altered significantly prior to the earthquake. The unusual flow flows gathered beneath a single location, apparently. Since it occurred quite close to the surface, it had qu a little effect beyond the immediate area. That would mean... Oh. Hang on a second. You're saying someone's controlling septium veins in order to generate earthquakes on purpose? So it's literally an earthquake weapon. That's horrific. You have the right of it. A weapon that can cause earthquakes anywhere with septium, septium veins. But, Grandpa, controlling septum veins? Is that even possible? It's well beyond the capabilities of any Earth-moving technology I'm aware of. I agree. However, we cannot deny the evidence in front of us. Someone has made it possible. Well, tough for them. Professor can use the data to figure out where the weapon is. If you can, we'll go stop it. Yeah, that's the spirit. Mm, perhaps I can. Right. Go back to the data at the, the, start, the start of the disturbance. Now, in what direction does the full disturbance begin? I have it. 165.88 by... Negative 228.35. Oh. Tita, do you know where that is? I think so. Tita pulled out the map. Elmo? No. The coordinates are Selge from Zeiss' center, so... If it's 12 Selge, North 378 is Lyson Fortress. It's 165 Selge, South negative 228 Selge would be... What location is 165 Selge East and 228 Selge South from Zeiss? Oh my god, I got it right, it's, it's Elmo Village? Yeah, I think it'd be about here. Yup, okay, we're going to that dungeon next. What? Well, it's hiding in plain sight, I suppose. Suppose. Elmo Village. So the origin of the disturbances is somewhere near the hot springs, then. I can't say for certain, but it seems likely. So what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna go check it out right now. Yes, we need to hurry. Indeed. So... Tita, go with them. They will need your knowledge and technical skill in their investigation. Oh, um... Okay, I'll do everything I can to help, I promise. Well, uh... This might be kind of dangerous. On the other hand, Tita will be a big help, so I sure, so I sure can say no. I agree. Tita, be careful, okay? I will. I'll contact Elmo ahead of you. I'm sure Miss Mao will be glad to help your investigation. 
Thanks, Mr. Murdoch. Hazel, get Miss Mao at the Elmo in on the line at once. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. No, no, no. I'll remain here and continue to analyze the data we're getting using the capo. If I discover anything, I'll contact Elmo at once. Thanks, thanks, professor. Yeah, thanks, professor. If we find anything, we'll call you right away. Excellent. Good luck, everyone. Let's get to Elmo at once, then. But first... Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. We're not gonna go to Elmo. Oh! I heard you're, ready. you're heading to, Hel to Elmo. Wow, you really do know everything, Kilika. Hazel contacted me. To target Lyson Fortress. Whoever is responsible doesn't have a lot of common sense. Be very careful as you go. Yes, we'll stay alert. That is all. Now hurry. Yeah, we're off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. Gentlemen? Do you have some business with me? Never mind. That's quite alright. I suppose I could take this as a chance to, to rest and 